I may have. First up for us, the College Student Production Awards. In the category of College News Report, Serious News. The nominee is The Red Zone, Sexual Assaults at Indiana University. And the News Report, Serious News Student Production Award goes to The Red Zone, Sexual Assaults at Indiana University. First, the backstory and why students are getting alarmed. There is heightened concern across campus, especially in the Greek system. In six weeks, IU has sent three crime notifications to students of reported rapes and sexual assaults. I feel very unsafe and I think it's unfair that we have to feel this way as college girls. But the issue is worse than students at IU have been told. Of 14 sexual assaults reported since August 19th, 11 are reports of rape and three of sexual battery. In the category of college news report light news, the nominees are free tuition winner Bowling Green State University and weird music wizard Scott Wood Huntington University. And the news report light student news production awards goes to weird music wizard Scott Wood Huntington University. But yeah, if you do happen to enjoy my music, like I really appreciate that. Uh, and if you don't get it, then I don't blame you. Uh, try to keep an open mind, I guess. Like, this is gonna be weird, you know? Um, and if you don't like anything about it, like try to see what you don't like about it and try to improve upon that in the stuff that you make. In the category of college video essay, the nominees are Baseball is Back, Huntington University. And the college video essay student production award goes to Baseball is Back, Huntington University. We believe there are three things that you can control every day. Your attitude, your concentration, and your effort. These things are the foundation of our program and our success will be dictated by how well we put those into action during the season. We focus on the process rather than results and we always honor the game by playing with toughness. We value being a good teammate working with a hard-nosed approach and being a part of something bigger than ourselves. In the college category of nonfiction short form, the nominees are Homefront, Taylor University, 300 Seconds of Science, The Multiverse Theory Explained, ZTV, the University of Akron, 180, Taylor University, Kojak, A Fuller Life, Taylor University, 300 Seconds of Science, Rolling Back the Rock, ZTV, the University of Akron. Five-Minute Flashback, The Battle of Lake Erie, ZTV, the University of Akron. And Five-Minute Flashback, The Meaning Behind the AIDS Memorial Quilt, ZTV, the University of Akron. And the nonfiction short-form student production award goes to 180, Taylor University. Again, I knew there was a reason why I'm still here. So I started praying about it. And I saw Dante in my mind. Dante had tattoos over his eyebrow and under his, on his cheek. And I remember him saying to me, I gotta get rid of these tattoos so I can get a job. And it just clicked. It's like, that's it. I'm supposed to remove tattoos for people who are trying to change their life. College category of nonfiction long form. The nominees are Tim Hawkins, Professional Moron, Taylor University. Lizzie, Deeper Than Water, Taylor University. Safe Haven, Taylor University. Somos Holy Cross, Indiana University Media School. And Find Your Voice, The Music of Georgia Stitt, Anderson University. And the nonfiction long form student production award goes to Safe Haven, Taylor University. She's like, I don't know about all this place. Friends? Can you be friends? That is one of the greatest parts of my job is getting to have a relationship with the kids that we save. In the category of college magazine program, the nominees are Class Canceled, the Akron Zoo, Zoo TV, the University of Akron, Ball State Sports Link, December, Ball State University,
and the Treehouse with music wizard Scott Wood, Huntington University. And the College Magazine Student Production Awards go to Ball State Sports Link Stories, December, Ball State University. The number 32, to me, it just holds strong to me because it resembles something that I truly thought he was a Division I football player and, and should have been, but wasn't. So why can't I carry that on for him after we went through such a rough time in his, his late high school years? In the category of college music video, the nominees are The Rock and Mineral Show, Indiana University Media School. Low Down Live Sessions, Dream Lover, The Michael Weber Show, ZTV, The University of Akron. And Low Down Live Sessions, Can't See Eye to Eye, The Michael Weber Show, ZTV, The University of Akron. And the College Music Video Student Production Awards go to The Rock and Mineral Show, Indiana University Media School. In the category of college fiction short form, the nominees are Captain, Huntington University, and The Jackalope, Huntington University, and the College Fiction Short Form Student Production Award goes to The Jackalope, Huntington University. What the heck? Do you like superheroes? Mm -hmm. In the category of college fiction long form, the nominees are Jack the Town and I, Taylor University, The Accidental Grandson, Taylor University, Science is for the Boys, Taylor University, Allegiant to None, ZTV, The University of Akron, and Akron After Hours, The Best of Fall 2021, ZTV, The University of Akron. And the College Fiction Long Form Student Production Award goes to The Accidental Grandson, Taylor University. I have been three steps ahead of you the whole time. Not bad for an old man. Uh, no, please, I'm, I'm begging you. you. Don't call the cops. I'll do anything. I, I regret everything. I, I don't even like the watch that much anymore. Just take it. <sighs> I'm not going to go to jail, am I? Why aren't you saying anything? <laughs> I got you. You actually believe that I thought you were my grandson. <laughs> you were what? my grandson. In the category of college sports story or segment, the nominees are Ball State Sports Link, To Hell and Back, Maddox Tavernier, Ball State University. And Ball State Sports Link, Clayton Call, Ball State University. And the college sports story or segment student production award goes to Ball State Sports Link to Hell and Back, Maddox Tavernier, Ball State University. He's had a tough situation with the cancer, but he's certainly uh, done a great job in the way he's attacked it and kept a positive attitude. I always knew he would be there in some capacity, and that's still in the back of his mind to, you know, make it out on the field because so long he dreamt of that moment. I feel very fortunate to be in the situation I am today and there's other people that have been in my situation that have not been as fortunate as me. In the category of college sports program, the nominees are the ZTV Sports Report, ZTV University of Akron, and Ball State Sports Link Game Day Live Homecoming versus Miami, Ball State University. And the College Sports Program Student Production Award goes to Ball State Sports Link Game Day Live Homecoming versus Miami, Ball State University. But for Ball State to carry out this win that they're favored in, 
Who has to step up and have a big game? It's not one single player. It's the entire offensive line for Ball State. They've had a good three-game stretch here against Army, Western, and now Eastern, but now against Miami of Ohio, this is a really good front seven, and the offensive line has played really good so far, opening up holes for Carson Steele and Win Will Jones in the middle, and then also giving Drew Plitt plenty of time. We saw a lot of deep ball highlights there just a few seconds ago, and Drew Plitt loves throwing the deep ball. In the category of college live sporting event or game, the nominees are HU Basketball versus Indiana Wesleyan Huntington University, Ball State Sports Link Women's Volleyball versus NIU Ball State University, and the college live sporting event or game student production award goes to Ball State Sports Link Women's Volleyball versus NIU Ball State University. In the lift, when you're jumping that high into the air, how often is it that you see a lift called the player so high off the ground? That's almost as hard to do as a double hit with one hand. Ball State coming out of the confusion, getting a quick point. Nice back set. Doesn't matter whether it's a regular set forwards or a back set, Ball State in the attack. In the category of college commercials, the nominees are Upland Area Greenways Association Promo, Taylor University, Mountain Dew Kickstart Commercial, Bowling Green State University, World Ocean Day, Fort Wayne Children's Zoo, Huntington University, Ball State Sports Link, 21-22 Women's Basketball Creative Intro, Ball State University, and the College Commercials Student Production Award goes to Ball State Sports Link 2021-22 Women's Basketball Creative Intro, Ball State University. In the category of college animation graphics special effects, the nominees are Chloe Jacobson Etnier and Sean Etnier, Cupidella Animation, Huntington University, Muriel Rhodes Visual Effects Craft, Huntington University, Kayla Knopp and Brady Dorn Toho Animation, Huntington University, and the College Animation Graphics Special Effects Student Production Award goes to Chloe Jacobson Etnier and Sean Etnier, Cupidella Animation, Huntington University. Trouble and only a hero with tremendous strength, Woo. incredible bravery, and dashing good looks <laughs> could save them. <laughs> talking to what are you supposed to be i've been looking all over for you great uncle spandexter i am cupidella and you need to teach me how to be a hero uh, <laughs> in the category of college audio and sound the nominees are homefront taylor university lizzie deeper than water taylor university and the College Audio and Sound Student Production Award goes to Lizzie, Deeper Than Water, Taylor University. Kids aren't nice all the time, so <laughs> she kind of has to guard herself against that. I didn't know how much shame I felt kind of all the time. Also, just social exclusion and defectiveness. Getting it out of my head that I wasn't born wrong, and I'm not inherently bad. In the category of college director, the nominees are Kojak, A Fuller Life, Taylor University, Darian Taylor. Lizzie, Deeper Than Water, Taylor University, Gabe Birch. Carlos Hermosillo, directing, Huntington University, Carlos Hermosillo. And the college director student production awards go to Kojak, A Fuller Life, Taylor University, Darian Taylor. Today was challenging when it comes to, you know, to them youngsters. With some of the young people that I deal with that may be in trouble, 
They can call me 1 o'clock in the morning. If they need me, I'm coming. In the category of college editor, the nominees are Lizzie, Deeper Than Water, Taylor University, Luke Zobel. Kojak, A Fuller Life, Taylor University, Marissa Williams. Safe Haven, Taylor University, Abby Goebel. The Accidental Grandson, Taylor University, Matt Brown, Nate Kowal. And the College Editor Student Production Awards go to Kojak, A Fuller Life, Taylor University, Marissa Williams. The best life coach because he put his power in teaching me things that are right. I'm getting better just a little bit by him helping me. I don't have a degree in life coaching. I didn't go to school for life coaching. I'm just trying to help young people understand that your mistakes don't define you. In the category of college photographer, the nominees are About a Motel, Taylor University, Jeffrey Ogden. Last Night on Earth, Indiana University Media School, Chin Don Yu, Homefront, Taylor University, Josiah Crosdell, Lizzie, Deeper Than Water, Taylor University, Gabe Birch. And the College Photographer Student Production Awards go to Last Night on Earth, Indiana University Media School, Chin Don Yu, and Lizzie, Deeper Than Water, Taylor University, Gabe Birch. really clung to swimming to to feel normal to feel at ease mostly we grew up not too far from Catalina Swim Club so in the summers we spent on average 12 hours at the pool that kind of taught her how to go swim and then we took her to coach Tony we never treated Lizzie as a para athlete we always treated her as a swimmer in the category of college talent news or sports, the nominees are ZTV Sports Report, Nico Weathers. ZTV, the University of Akron. Ball State Sports Link, Hudson French, Ball State University. And the college talent news or sports student production awards go to Hudson French, Ball State University. For the first time since 2019, the shoe is at full capacity for your defending MAC football champion, Ball State Cardinals. Jared Elliott and his Western Illinois squad are in Charlietown for the fifth ever matchup between the two. This is SportsLink Game Day. I'm your host, Hudson French. Folks, let me just tell you, campus is buzzing right now on the heels of Ball State's bowl win against San Jose State. So we sent our own Dennis Collier out on the campus just to get that feel for the students. Take a look. In the category of college talent performer, the nominees are Brody Bowman, talent performer, Huntington University. Brian Day, allegiant to none, ZTV, the University of Akron, Brian Day. And the college talent performer student production awards go to Brody Bowman, Huntington University, and Brian Day, ZTV, the University of Akron. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. me around like one of your CIA grunts. Really? Kind of seems like I can. You may have brought us the isotopes, but it'd be wise to remember that I am the one calling the shots here, not you. Well, it'd be wise of you to not forget that I helped get Julia Blair out of the picture. 
something you failed to do. And now the high school student production awards. In the category of high school newscast, the nominees are NCTV Now, Episode 1, North Canton City Schools. Studio 415, Carroll High School, RTV2 class. Tiger News Broadcast, WHS-TV, Ohio, Maslin Washington High School. And the High School Newscast Student Production Award goes to Studio 415, Carroll High School, RTV2 class. There are many different activities. One of those events is the Keener Dairy Farms Fall Festival. Studio 415 reporter Blake Demlin brings you more on the story. Keener Dairy creates an opportunity for Fort Wayne residents to have food, fun, and create memories in order to provide those opportunities. The farm needs to hire many people, including several Carroll students. This year marks Keener's ninth season playing on their fall festival, opening on September 17th and ending October 31st. They offer many different fall activities, such as the corn maze. In the category of high school news report, serious news, the nominees are Dying Trees, Carroll High School, Mask Mandate, Carroll High School, Mask Lawsuit, Carroll High School, and the High School News Student Production Award goes to Dying Trees, Carroll High School. AP environmental science teacher Jim Walker, who is in charge of planting the affected trees, explains that this is caused by a groundskeeping mistake. Uh, whoever's doing the mowing is accidentally hitting the, the base of the trees with their mower as they're trying to get their job done as quickly as possible. And what that'll do is it damages the bark at the bottom of the tree. The absence of the tree bark then prevents the tree from absorbing nutrients, causing its death. In the category of nonfiction, there is only one nominee, so the award goes to Phasmophobes, Metamora, Carroll High School. Sometimes in an investigation, the most unique part isn't the house, but the location at which the house remains. Metamora, Indiana is one of those unique gems you don't just find on the side of the road. Metamora is a place of indifferency, in no other place do you find such an interconnection of stories and people. In no other place do you find such a community like this one. To the townsfolk, Metamora is a family. In the category of high school magazine program, there is only one nominee, so the award goes to Accent TV Show, WHS-TV Ohio, Massillon Washington High School. Every football season, Tiger fans can count on the village idiots to share their Tiger spirit and pump up the crowd on game nights. Just who are these guys with these crazy costumes and high energy support for our Tigers? Here's more. In the category of high school music video, the nominees are My Pretty Little Cell, Carroll High School, Running From the Dark, Carroll High School, Ahem, Carroll High School, and the music video student production award goes to Ahem, Carroll High School, Evan Bushman. Um, I had a wonderful night last night. I can't wait to get out of this house. Um, Chris, I mean... What the hell's going on here? Oh, John, I didn't expect you to be home so early. No, no, no. Who were you talking to? Who was that? It was no one. Um, it was just a friend from work. Don't you lie to me. Yeah. In the category of high school fiction, the nominees are Killer Cubo Movie Trailer, WHS-TV Ohio, Massillon Washington High School, What If, North Canton City Schools, Actor, Carroll High School, Rockin' Pets TV Commercial, WHS-TV Ohio, Massillon Washington High School, Schoolhouse Adventures, WHS-TV Ohio, Massillon Washington High School, Isolation, Carmel High School, and the Fiction Student Production Award goes to actor Carol High School. He shuts the door behind him so he can finally be alone. He can finally be alone with his own thoughts, a sense of pain that he has now become addicted to and unable to take control of. He thinks about how when he was walking with you to math class, 
You were probably annoyed by all those stupid jokes he was making. He thinks about how you probably thought he was being controlling, trying to show you how to do every math problem. In the category of high school live sporting event or game, there is only one nominee. So the award goes to Massillon Tigers versus Canton McKinley Bulldogs 2021. WHS TV Ohio, Massillon Washington High School. Slaughter receives a snap. Hand off to Freddie Lennox Jr. He runs up the middle, finding an open space, getting to the 20, to the 10, to the 5, to the Mass and Tiger. Touchdown! Finding the open space and a great run right through to getting a Mass and Tiger touchdown. Rachel, how are you feeling about that one? I'm feeling great. I'm so excited we got a touchdown, and we're just going to keep getting more and more. In the category of high school commercial, the nominees are Athletic Facility Plan, North Canton City Schools. Career Tech Promo, North Canton City Schools. Amherst Comets versus Vermilion for the Orr, Marion L. Steele High School. Your Pizza Shop TV Commercial, WHS-TV, Massillon Washington High School. And the High School Commercial Student Production Awards go to Athletic Facility Plan, North Canton City Schools. An outstanding community support. North Canton Hoover has also benefited from having great athletic facilities that have served our community well. The time has now come to build facilities that will carry the next generations of Vikings on to greatness. A comprehensive athletic facilities master plan was launched in 2017 to update and expand the athletic facilities on the south side of 7th Street. Well, everybody, that is a wrap on this year's Student Production Awards. Congratulations to all of our talented students across the region on a job very well done. We'll see you next year.
Hi, I'm Terry O'Reilly, the Chairman of the National Academy of Television Arts and Sciences. And I'm Adam Sharp, the President and CEO of the National Academy of Television Arts and Sciences. We had really been looking forward to joining you all in the Central Great Lakes celebration of the regional Emmys this weekend, but we are here, as you can see, in Southern California, where we are making sure that every one of the rules in the Natus Emmy rulebook are respected. So, Adam, that's your job. <laughs> Thank you, Terry. And we are so thrilled that at the national level and in the chapters, we are finally able to celebrate together again under one roof. The Emmys are about community, especially at the chapter level where 18,000 members strong across the country. It's our chapter members who kept our communities strong and informed and charging on these last two and a half years. So we will look forward to seeing you live and in person next year at your Emmy Gala, but I think we're uh, we're about coming up on time, so what do you think? Yes, sir. Standby Central Great Lakes Control, standby tape, roll in three, two, take it. Also, I'd like to recognize, you saw them just a few moments ago, but the hardworking group of our peers, the board of our Emmys organization, you heard Dan Spieler up here, but that crew that makes this all possible, they spend months and months making this event, not only this event, but all the awards that we're about to present a possibility. So round of applause for them. And then also our very gracious hosts, the hospitality of Charlotte and Forrest Lucas for opening their home, this incredible estate to all of us to celebrate this evening. It is an honor to be here with so many colleagues who I respect and admire, and I know that feeling is mutual among so many of you, especially when it's been three years since we've been able to gather in person to do this and celebrate what is the hardworking yet rewarding business of broadcast journalism. And if we've learned anything over the past two years, it's certainly that power of storytelling, the importance of good journalism, and the value that there is in being a journalist. One of the great things about journalism and storytelling is the power to unite and connect one another, especially in difficult times. So it is such an honor to be up here uniting and being here with everyone tonight to celebrate. So it's time to get our show started with our first presenters of the evening. Please welcome from Fox 59, Bob Donaldson and Beershell Edme. Hello, hello, hello. Everybody looks uh, sufficiently melty tonight. <laughs> Thank you for coming, especially to our friends from Cleveland. Thank you for coming all the way down here. We know that it was a long trip. Hoosier hospitality is a real thing that we take a lot of pride in. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, a shout out to all the people who worked in 91 degree temperatures yesterday to set all this up here at the Lucas Oil Estate. Give them a big round of applause. And especially to our friend Shelly McWilliams, who is the one who organized this whole thing for us. Shelly, thank you for everything that you do. All right, you ready to get started, Rochelle? Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's get to our first category here, Arts Entertainment. And the nominees are... Cleveland Creatives, Voices of CLE, Destination Cleveland. Arts 2020, Excellence in a Crisis, 
Fort Wayne's NBC. One Tank Travel, Winter Getaway, BCAN. The Art of Dance, Flamenco in Barcelona, Spain. Outrageous with Nate. And the Emmy goes to... Art of Dance, Flamenco in Barcelona, Spain. She's from Barcelona and she loves flamenco. Incredible. And they were very good friends, Carmen and my mother. They, they liked each other a lot. Wow, and so you are keeping yeah. the tradition going. Yeah. I was here at the very beginning, as a, I was 20, in my 20s. And then I got married and left. I've been abroad 20 years, but I've been back four now. And um, now it's only my mother and I. So my mother is the cricket in my head that says how it has to be. <laughs> Wow. People like it the way it is. I think you, you yeah. had an impression. Definitely. Good flamenco. Yeah, I mean, it's an experience. Nate Henry and Tim Irwin are not here to accept the award tonight. We accept it on their behalf. Our next category is promotion, image promotion. And the nominees are Finding your favorite TV shows, The Dot, WTTV, Epic Comeback, WTOL, We See You, WKYC. And the Emmy goes to... And the Emmy goes to... <laughs> we See You, WKYC, John Riley, and Ryan Ratafield. Seems invisible. The countless nights alone. The thousands of miles in silence. The same path day after day. Do us to stay informed. We come to you to stay inspired. We see you. All right, thank you. Uh, tonight we want to salute all of the healthcare professionals, all of the teachers, all the grocery baggers, our hairstylists, our bus drivers, everyone who stayed open during the pandemic for us, we see you and we thank you. We also want to thank our WKYC family. We love you. Good night. Our next category is Human Interest News No Time Limit. And the nominees are. Share Story of Courage and Survival, W-A-N-E. Sudden Genius Syndrome and the Magic of Mathematics, W-X-I-N. The Rich Culture of Japan, W-T-H-R. Journey Indiana, Mercy of the Winds, W-T-I-U. Journey Indiana, Flying Without Breaks, WTIU. A Poem for You, WTHR. Blind Man Spreads Hope and Positivity, Spectrum News. Lakewood artist Arabella Proffer shares advice for living, WVIZ, PBS, Idea Stream. The Year of the Tiger Ladies, WKYC. We have three awards to give out in this category. And the Emmy in Human Interest News No Time Limit goes to... Found, Rape Victim Shares Story of Courage and Survival, Wayne Tara Reedus Brantley. Found will be released February 9th. In its pages, Correo's journey from victim to victim's rights advocate, winning state and national awards, and the lasting friendship she and her family share with the officer who found her. Our son is named after um, Detective Bill. Tara is not here to accept the award this evening. We proudly accept it on her behalf. The next award for Human Interest News, No Time Limit, and the Emmy goes to... Sudden Genius Syndrome and the Magic of Mathematics, WXIN, our colleague and co-anchor, Daniel Spieler and James Souter. Assaulted 
um, he had a perceptual change, started seeing things differently. So algebra is just like a piece of graph paper. And uh, has a particular type of synesthesia where um, he sees lines. And for him, that translated into a, a greater understanding of mathematics. In fact, it would make Jason something of a math genius, eventually drawing out the equations and mathematical patterns he was seeing in his head. Um, wow, um, what an honor it is to get to work alongside, um, they called him James there, Jamie Souter, as, as we know him. He, he has won so many of these things, he's so talented. Um, we kind of thought if we had the Emmys here in Carmel in Jamie's hometown, he might actually be here this year, but alas, Maybe next time, but it, it is such an honor to work with him and, and, and all of my talented colleagues. Um, uh, thanks also to Jason Padgett in that story. He also lived in Carmel uh, for letting us tell his fascinating life story. And thanks uh, uh, to my family who's here tonight. Love you guys so much. This is uh, a real honor. Thank you. Thank you. And our final award for Human Interest News, No Time Limit. And the Emmy goes to the rich culture of Japan, WTHR, Scott Swan, Steve Rhodes. Inside this Akihabara restaurant, <laughs> there's a real life character <laughs> whose animated personality <laughs> and remarkable story. Uh, this is such a such an amazing project we've gotten to work on over the years. I've I've said before, we've gotten to have a once in a lifetime experience every two years with our relationship with the Olympics. And I wish Scott was here because this is such a passion project of his. Thanks so much to management for letting us do this incredible thing. Thanks to my wife for letting me bury myself in a, in a dark place for a long time to put all of this together. So uh, it's just, it's greatly appreciated. Thank you. Our next category is Talent Reporter Political and the nominee. Cossack, Excellence in Political Reporting, WEWS. This year, although the filing deadline for the September primary isn't until June, the process of launching a run or weighing a run is already well underway with a familiar name now firmly in that latter category, Dennis Kucinich. In the fabric of Cleveland politics over the last 50 years, Dennis Kucinich has been the common thread. Elected to city council in 1969 while he was still in college, then elected the youngest mayor of a major city in 1977 at age 31. He would also spend time as a state senator. John is not here to accept. We proudly accept it on his behalf. Our next award is Lifestyle News, and the nominees are. My own neighborhood, and it's just kind of expanded beyond that. Phil Kidd is learning his way around his new city. I want to kind of stop and explore him a little more. Mile by mile. To my knowledge, there's about 3,000 street miles in Cleveland. Turn by turn. And I'm just kind of taking it one five-mile chunk at a time. A recreational runner. I run in all different weather conditions. I ran all through the winter. I ran through the heat of the pandemic last summer. I was really interested in kind of getting to know the city on a more granular level. And the Emmy goes to Running the Land, WEWS, Jonathan Rutter, L. David Colbane. One street at a time. And I started in my own neighborhood, and it's just kind of expanded beyond that. Phil Kidd is learning his way around his new city. I want to kind of stop and explore him a little more. Mile by mile. To my knowledge, there's about 3,000 street miles in Cleveland. Turn by turn. And I'm just kind of taking it one five-mile chunk at a time. A recreational runner. I run in all different weather conditions. I ran all through the winter. I ran through the heat of the pandemic last summer. I was really interested in kind of getting to know the city on a more granular level. They are not here to accept the award. We proudly accept it on their behalf. Our next category is Arts Entertainment News, and the nominees are 
My Own Little World, WTIU. A Conversation with Chicago, WTHR. Reconstructing Krishna at the Cleveland Museum of Art, WVIZ, PBS, Idea Stream. Amplifying Artists of Color, MOCA, Stina Alea Art, WOIO. Glass City, River Wall, Mini Mural, BCAN. The Beat Goes On, Spectrum News. And the Emmy goes to The Beat Goes On, Spectrum News, Brian Levine, Allison Momeyer. My name is David Zuter. I make one-minute music videos where I play all the instruments and sing all of the parts, doing all sorts of genres of music from rock to the Beatles to bluegrass to acapella to even television themes. After about five of them, I got the idea and the impression from these people that they were really enjoying them as a nice distraction from all the things going on. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out to the at least every Friday morning, I'll put out a new one. Brian and Allison are not here to accept. We proudly accept on their behalf. Our next category is editor, long form content, longer than 10 minutes. And the nominees are. No Limits Leadership Club, 12 Stars Media, Isabel and Roy, WVIZ PBS, Idea Stream. And the Emmy for long form content, longer than 10 minutes, goes to Isabel and Roy, WVIZ PBS, Idea Stream, Mary Fecto. We're looking at The Night, parenthesis, self-portrait, by Lichtenstein. It's from 1951, the first year that he lived in Cleveland. Lichtenstein's night is hardly a knight in shining armor. He's <laughs> rendered in a childlike hand. He looks more like a toy. Common themes, common subjects in the 1950s are tropes of medieval Europe and ideals of the American West. And he subjects that to the lens of children's art. That's his lens for bringing down. Mary Fecto looks a lot better than me, I gotta tell you that. Uh, we, are co we are partners, producing partners, and she's my dear friend, and we spent about four years putting this together, thanks to our But we did it. Special shout out to my, my buddy, Brian. A lot of people were involved in this. Welcoming our next presenter tonight, representing WOIO 19 News in Cleveland. Please welcome to the stage, Sia New Yorker, and also <laughs> Cleveland WVIZ Idea Streams, Rick Jackson. Before we actually get started with the nomination, I also serve as the chair of the education committee for Natus, and we love to give away other people's money, don't we? <laughs> Hammer wouldn't let me have four grand up here in my pocket tonight, but I do have two young men that we do want to honor. They're on page 14 of your program if you want to read more. Ryan Dick is a junior journalism major at Bowling Green State University, serves as executive producer for the, uh, producer for the university station, BG24, maintains a 4.0 grade point right. average, as the news director of 13 Action News, where Ryan serves as a part-time producer, said, I wish I could hire him full-time. Any university program would be proud to have his name associated with theirs. I know that uh, he's watching tonight. Ryan, well done. Secondly, Maxwell Urise is majoring in media studies at the University of Akron. Also a producer, he began with covering Akron Zip Sports, worked up from there to managing, writing, and hosting a show. Five trips to the dean's list, once on the president's list, show the breadth of his studies. Director of Multimedia Services says of Max, he carries himself as a true professional, is hardworking, possesses an insatiable thirst for knowledge. Again, they're on page right. 14, you can read more. We love giving away money because these guys have earned it. Give them a hand. 
Welcome everybody to Carmel, Indiana. I'm originally from right here in Indianapolis, Indiana, although I love Cleveland. <laughs> Actually, so Indianapolis, you rock with the venues. Yeah. Bravo. Rock, yeah. <laughs> now, we are here to present. That's right. You have the envelope. Documentary historical, and the nominees are. The life and works of T.C. Steele, WTIU. The forgotten king of Shiner's Point, Delaware County Historical Society. P.I. 100 Special, WICU, WSEE. Lines Broken, the story of Marion Motley, WNEO, WEAO. Driving Indiana, Taylor University. Documentary Historical Emmy goes to Lines Broken, the story of Marion Motley, W-N-E-O-W-E-A-O, -E James Waters II, and Sean Horgan. Now they're not interested. South Carolina State, a historically black college, gave Motley a shot. And Motley was there for three months and came home. Uh, South Carolina State was not his cup of tea. Word that Motley had left school made its way to the University of Nevada coach Jimmy Aiken, a former kid. I'd like to thank everybody who was uh, a part of it in our, uh, what we call our last year here. West Western Reserve and David D. Morgan, James Wells, Eric Lockery, Joe Rose. Got uh, Joe Dose in the house also, who's uh, Mary Motley's grandson. Uh, if you guys don't know, Mary Motley reintegrated professional football. Uh, passion project. It's so great to see you go this far. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you to my wife, most importantly. <laughs> All right. Well done. All right. The next category is business consumer news. A Dying Man's Wish, W-E-W-S. Wedding Officiant Woes, W-R-T-V. Cashed Out on Cash App, W-E-W-S. Bad Business in Indiana, W-T-T-V. Snap Benefits, P-A, W-I-C-U, W-S-E-E. -E. Legally Speaking, W-K-Y-C. And the Emmy goes to A Dying Man's Wish, WEWS. So again, as much time as I possibly can for whatever time we have left together. So Rachel, the travel agent, tried everything, essentially begging the company to give back the five grand. Um, this one is extra special. Uh, because Tim DeYoung was diagnosed with terminal cancer and all he wanted to do was take one last cruise. COVID hits and Norwegian Cruise Lines felt it necessary to deny him half a dozen times that he wouldn't get his money back so he could take a different trip as his last trip. So this is the power of, that we all hold, a voice for the voiceless. We got involved and we got their money back and he was able to take a last trip. So I really want to thank, thank you. Yeah, I really want to thank everybody involved with this, our awesome WEWS team, uh, Rob Klein who edited this and uh, of course our managers and producers who when I say, yeah, I have a five minute story, they're like, okay. Uh, but really a great team. I want to thank my family who's here tonight and everybody watching as well. Thank you guys. Our next category is Editor, News, and Sports, and the nominees are... are Faith Denig, Editing Composite, Ball State University. Control-Z, W-E-W-S. 
Sugden Edits 2021 WEWS. 2021 Edit Composite, the Indianapolis Colts. All right, and the Emmy goes to WTHR Edit Composite 2021 Steve Rhodes. So it shouldn't come as a surprise that inside this Akihabara restaurant, <laughs> there's a real-life character. Ah. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to be much nicer to the microphone this time on the exit. Uh, the, uh, uh, before I forget, my mom is watching at home on the stream, so I'm going to say hi to Debbie Rhodes. Um, she's, she has been my biggest fan for a long time, so... Uh, and I know, I know some of the other work in that category. So I mean, it it was awesome. Um, to Andy Sugden um, is just one. I mean, all of them are awesome. But it's a it's an honor to be up here. So thank you. All right, next category: informational instructional. The nominees are A O One Foundation W I S H. Is it legal? W J W. And the informational instructional Emmy goes instructional Emmy goes to Is It Legal, WJW. They are not here this evening. We'll accept on their behalf. Officials Here's have no authority to delete your recording. So before you press record, know the rules. Make a conscious choice. Is the truth you seek to expose worth the price you're likely to pay? And so let me give you an example. The Cleveland Metropolitan School District Student of Code and Co Conduct forbids recording your cell phone unless everyone involved consents. But, and it's a big but, here's the important thing to remember. If a student chooses to violate... All right, next category. News feature, light feature, single report. The nominees are... The Woodworker, W-E-W-S. Shibuya Crossing, WTHR, WVIZ PBS Idea Stream, Making a Case for Mustard, WTHR, Snug Harbor, WEWS, Future of the Squared Circle in the Circle City, WXIN, Rock and Roll's first concert was a riot, WKYC. And the Emmy for News Feature Light Feature Single Report goes to Making a Case for Mustard, WTHR. So many different mustards. It's like, who's your favorite child? This attorney, who's argued cases in front of the Supreme Court, is now making a case for this curious condiment. Is it something that should tickle your nose? And against the competition. It's not mayonnaise, right? <laughs> right. So it's exciting. And don't even bring up the red stuff. According to the National Condiment... Well, we are so uh, thankful for this award, especially since we did a Chuck's Big Adventure in the state of Wisconsin. We had somebody cancel. What do we do? We met Barry Levinson, who argued cases before the Supreme Court and decided to dedicate his life now to mustard. So thank you, Barry Levinson, Steve Rhodes, incredible job, and Megan Simpson set this all up for us. So this goes to them. Thank you. All right, next one. Director live or recorded live. The nominees are Seattle versus Indians, 612-21, Bally Sports Great Lakes. Cleveland Cavaliers versus Boston Celtics, Bally Sports Ohio. Indians live, Bally Sports Great Lakes. And the Emmy for director, live or recorded live, goes to Indians Live, Bally Great Sports Lake. Two, one, roll red, track. The, the heart of your team. Stand by your music, the heart of Ohio. 
Valley Sports Great Lake and Valley Mike. Sports Ohio. The heart of the fan. You can open them up and music. The top of the tri batting order was very efficient last night. Stand by your push. And they are not here this evening. We accept this award on their behalf. All right. Sports story content. The nominees are anniversary of 9 11, Valley Sports Great Lakes, 24 hours in the Muni lot, WJW, Demetric Felton's battle for a roster spot, Cleveland Browns, off the track, WTHR, the history of the Cleveland football fan, Destination Cleveland, worst pick in the draft. Darius Leonard's draft story, Indianapolis Colts. And the winner for sports story content goes to Off the Track, WTHR. And it kind of lends itself to some, some fishing terms as well. The boat is powered by four Mercury engines, cranking out 1,400 horsepower. That's twice as powerful as this so IndyCar ride. So in 2011, uh, tragically, the world lost a legendary race car driver in Dan Weldon and uh, an even better father and husband. And so um, I was just so honored to be able to revisit um, with Susie. Actually, photographer Ryan Thedwall uh, and Dave Calabro, sports anchor, visited with uh, Susie last year and um, I had the opportunity to chase Dan's two boys around a go-kart track in Greenfield in, or in Newcastle, Indiana as they continue um, Dan's racing um, and it was just such an honor to be able to tell that story and see those boys uh, carry the torch for Dan. So thank you to my wife Tandy for always supporting me and uh, Channel 13 for allowing us to do stories like this. Thank you. We are ready for our next presenters for the evening from Wish TV, Alexis Rogers, and from Youngstown, Ohio, WBKN News producer, Caitlin Amato. All right, hello, friends. Okay, ooh, you guys look good from up here. I like this. Okay, I know it's hot, but y'all look good. It's all right. All right, so uh, the, the next award we have is for Writer Long Form Content. Singing Wins, The Life and Works of T.C. Steele, WTIU. NRPA Gold Medal Award Finalist Video, Cleveland Metro Parks. A Beth Jean Daydream, WTIU. Cleveland Guardians Brand Unveil, Cleveland Guardians. All right, and the Emmy goes to, for writer long-form content, Singing Wins, The Life and Works of T.C. Steele, WTIU, Todd Gold. He was a man who possessed both a gentle spirit and a bold vision. He was from a quiet outpost on the western edge of Indiana, far from the cultural centers of the world. And yet, he dreamed of becoming an artist, a painter. A dream so outlandish in the 1870s, none of his rural neighbors could even understand what type of occupation it was. T.C. Steele envisioned him. I'm not Todd Gold, you know. Uh, uh, Todd Gold, uh, well, thank you so much for this honor. Our next category, public service announcement, single spotlight. No Zone Dino Campaign, Bayonet Media. Death by a Thousand Cuts, Rise Productions. Most Extreme Recycling Challenge, Bayonet Media. Indiana FSSA, Know the Facts, Say Word, CVR. Downtown Cleveland, Bring It Back. Fusion Filmworks, Gleaners, Potato, Zoo Content. 
those two. There are two here. No Zone Dino Campaign, the Bayonet Meeting. Learn dinosaur, being evolved is important to me, and that means taking the time for self-care. I find my center, I align my chakras, namaste. And then there's my electric vehicle. It's quiet, it's reliable, and nearly maintenance-free, so I can treat myself. Don't be a fossil, drive electric. All right, they are not here this evening, so we proudly accept this award on their behalf. And for our second winner for the public service announcement, the Emmy goes to Gleaners Potato Zoo Content, Joel Umbra. This is a potato. This particular potato was raised in the Midwest by Craig. Potatoes have inspired things like fries, tots, competitions, and toys. One potato has roughly 160 calories. A calorie measures the amount of fuel humans need to function. This is Ruby. Ruby loves potatoes, but her family doesn't have money for the supermarket, so she'll have to wait to have energy. The potato not yet purchased is subsequently gleaned from the store. All the gleaned food comes to this food bank where volunteers help organize and redistribute it. This is the largest food bank in Indiana. It's called Glean. And they are not here this evening, so we will proudly accept this award on their behalf. Our next category. Health Medical News, Single Shift, and the nominees are... Last Shot Before a New Year, WEWS, Hope's Bracelets, WTHR, A Day with the Doctor, WJW, Gray's Anatomy Leads to Life-Saving Surgery in Cleveland, WEWS, Alaric's Journey, Spectrum News. And the Emmy goes to... Grey's Anatomy leads to life-saving surgery in Cleveland, W-E-W-S. Ultrasound showed their baby girl had a life-threatening heart defect. We may lose her in the pregnancy after, soon after the pregnancy. It was devastating news for every mother. Even more devastating, their doctors in Dubai said there was nothing they could do. But Doa would not be defeated. A doctor herself and super fan of Grey's Anatomy, she remembered an episode where they performed surgery on a baby in utero. I couldn't imagine that Grey's Anatomy would literally change my baby life. We'll save it. The couple did their research and found only a few places in the world performed such an... They are not here this evening, so we will proudly accept the award on their behalf. All right. Our next category, societal concerns, and the nominees are... Betrayal, WEWS. QAnon fractures Hoosier families, WTHR. Housing discrimination in Indianapolis, WISH. Two Americas, WEWS. There's life after dope, WXIN. I-Team, EMS emergency, WS. And the societal concerns news and the Emmy goes to to America's WEWS. Right now, I'm panicking. She's been in this apartment on the east side of Cleveland for the last seven years. This place she called her own. I'm a homebody. Is no longer the home it once was. It's not right. Earlier this month, an eviction notice posted on her door, out before October. Anybody who's renting, this can happen to them. She wasn't behind on rent. A new owner wants to rent. And they are not here this evening, so we will proudly accept this award on their behalf. All right, our next category is politics and government. And the nominees are... Land, the Cleveland Mayor's Race 2021, WKYC. Hamilton County Sheriff's Office Beneath the Badge, McLean Media. And the Emmy goes to Leading the Land, the Cleveland Mayor's Race 2021, WKYC. Hear their concerns. They're human beings just like everyone else. 
Now, we won't tolerate the, you know, the donuts in the, in the, in the middle of the street. License them that you have, like you have to have every other vehicle on the street. If you drive a car or a truck, you have to be licensed and regulate them on the state level as well as on the city level. I mean, when you look at a, 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 a Kelly Jackson administration has gone along with these dirt bike riders, appeased these dirt bike riders, that the fact that we're going to build a $2.3 million dirt bike track, which you know I voted against, they are not here this evening, so we proudly accept this award on their behalf. Next, we have the health and medical category. Virus and vaccination, your decision, W-O-I-O. -O. Digging deeper, a shot of hope, W-P-T-A. Intensive care, a year on the COVID-19 front line, Omari Media, LLC. Exploring your health, colorectal cancer, Spectrum News. Dr. Mark, medical breakthroughs, WJW. And the health and medical Emmy goes to Exploring Your Health, Colorectal Cancer, Spectrum News. For every minute of life after his diagnosis, with the help of his wife, Livia, he stopped eating processed foods, red meat, and cut sugar from his diet, replacing them with vegetables and whole grains. He exercised more and focused on the good. During our conversations, Mark continually stressed that annual checkups should be a priority for everyone, especially when everything seems okay. His wife, Livia, agreed he would want his story told. When I finally... And we will proudly accept their award on their behalf. <laughs> All right, our next category is talent, performer, host, narrator. The nominees are... Peggy's Poetry and Zarg, Season 5. Beware the Boojum, WTIU. A Beth Jean Daydream, WTIU. Everything I Couldn't Say, Rise Productions. Mike Will Trout, host, Tonic Ball 20, Maze Entertainment. Black College Football Hall of Fame, Journey to Canton, WNEO, WEAO. Tim McMahon, host, 41 Nosh and One Tank Travel, BCAN. Mike Polk, Jr.'s Fancy Boy Showcase, WKYC. Amber Hankins, WISH. Bob Ross, behind the scenes at his former studio, Outrageous with Nate. And the talent performer, host, narrator Emmy goes to Mike Polk Jr.'s Fancy Boy Showcase, WKYC. <laughs> A recent online poll has ranked Cleveland the most apathetic city in the nation yet again. When reached for comment, the mayor responded, who cares? You want your weather forecast, Cleveland? There it is. Rain, snow, gray, hot, it's a mess. Why the hell do we live here? Authorities say reports of the recent rise in crime in downtown Cleveland are greatly exaggerated. We here at the... Hey, hey, hey! Hi, I'm Mike Polk. And people often ask me how I managed to love my scrappy hometown so much, despite its many flaws. I and he is not here this evening, so we would proudly accept this award on his behalf. All right, we are ready to welcome up to the stage our next presenters. Please welcome, from Destination Cleveland, Thalia Mano, and two-time Emmy-nominated musician and five-time Apollo Theater winner, Kofi B. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, good evening. Okay, do your thing. Um, <laughs> we are going to be introducing the first category for us in public affairs program is that uh, our nominees are. Facts, not fear, your kids and COVID, WKYC. Help Wanted Ohio, WEWS. The Public Affairs Program Emmy goes to, let's see, 
Help Wanted Ohio, W-E-W-S. And when they worked, the companies that don't offer that may lose more workers. And even some of the local companies rated among the best to work for are reevaluating how they do things. As News 5's Clay Lepard learned, they're expanding their... Uh, thank you. Uh, this award is special because this was a topic that the staff chose. Uh, last year, we said, you know your community's the best. You know the people that you cover the best. Tell us what stories you want to tell. And Help Wanted Ohio is what they wanted to tell. So this one's really special because this was really something that was done by the entire staff. First and foremost, to God be the glory for all the good things that he continues to do. Um, it is an absolute honor and incredible privilege to work alongside some of the best journalists in the business here at News 5. Um, and I'm just honored. This is my first Emmy. Um, so it is an honor. Um, I want to thank my parents who drove all the way here from Michigan, my older sister who drove here from Michigan, and my beautiful, my beautiful girlfriend who flew here from Philadelphia. So thank you. Right, continuing right along, we're going Go to <laughs> introduce the next category of crime news, and our nominees are guns flooding the streets at alarming rate. WRTV arrest not so textbook after all. WRTV new developments in search for Amy's killer. WEWS. Predator Catchers Raises Concerns, WTTV. Strangled, WEWS. Silence the Violence, three-part series, WOIO. And the Emmy goes to Arrest Not So, Textbook After All, WRTV, Andrew Smith, and Kara Kenny. You mean my eye, your head, your teeth. In 2018, after Douglas' uh, arrest, former you. Chief Joe Winkle. This is my first time here. This is my first nomination, too. Uh, uh, this project was so special and is so special to me. I called Muncie home for many years, uh, and I still feel responsibility to that community. So thank you to Kara. And thank you to everyone at WRTV who allowed us to do this. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Our digital anchor, Stephanie Haney. Hello, friend. Hello, Jay. Good to see you. I'll tell you what, for this first story, you had to be quick to get in on this one today because ahead of being inducted, into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. The Foo Fighters are putting on a show at the Cleveland House of Blues. Tickets went on sale at noon and they sold out in just two hours. So the Foo Fighters will be inducted into the Rock Hall by Paul McCartney in Saturday's ceremony at the Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse and only a select few will... And the Emmy goes to... Oops. Clicking in Cleveland, WKIC. Looking in Cleveland. For that, we bring in our digital anchor, Stephanie Haney. Hello, friend. Hello, Jay. Good to see you. I'll tell you what, for this first story, you had to be quick to get in on this one today because ahead of being inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, the Foo Fighters are putting on a show at the Cleveland House of Blues. Tickets went on sale at noon and they sold out. Longer than 10 minutes, and our nominees are. Best performances, WVIZ PBS Idea Stream. Interactive Town Hall, WEWS. Emmy goes to Interactive Town Hall, WEWS. The topic, Cleveland neighborhoods. Homeless people and low-income people, the population growing bigger and bigger. However, all the developmental projects are all for high-end to gentrify the neighborhoods. What would you do about that? <laughs> oh, my goodness. This thing's, this thing's a lot heavier than it looks. Um, wow. Um, thank you to everybody. This, again, my first nomination, my first Emmy Award. Um, 
Thank you to the great team at Woos. I mean, this was such an important story to tell, you know, Cleveland's first mayor and our new mayor in a long, long time. And it was such a fun project to put together with Steve and Rob and Joe and Mark Ackerman, who's not here as well, Meredith. Um, it was a total team effort. And I think for every award that we win here at Woos, we can say that about everything. You know, everybody, Yay! it's, wow. wow. <laughs> Uh, so our next category is branded content, short form content, up to 10 minutes, and our nominees are... The In Crowd, Borshoff. Inside Surgery with Heart Surgeon, Mark Pelletier, MD, Omari Media, LLC. Fortune's Fool, Secrets in the Wood, Bayonet Media. Black Men Teach, Cleveland Metropolitan School District. And the Emmy goes to Fortune's Fools, Secrets in the Wood. And unfortunately, they're not here, so we will probably accept on their behalf again. The goal for Fortune's Fool from the start is to be a sought after whiskey. The barrel produces 60 to 80 percent of the flavor, so it's very important, and you don't want to cut corners when it comes to barrel aging. All righty, our next category is branded content, long form content, longer than 10 minutes, and our nominees are Purdue Polytechnic First Class, Keontae Story, Bayonet Media, The Indianapolis Prize, Maze Entertainment, LLC. And the Emmy goes to the Indianapolis Prize, Maze Entertainment, LLC. Species are a group of species. They're doing work that a lot of people can't even imagine how you go about doing that, but they do it effectively. They're conservation heroes. They're rock stars. The Indianapolis Prize has always been a strategic component of the Indianapolis Zoo's mission to empower people and communities both locally and globally to advance animal conservation. It's a long-term investment in our... Thank you. Thank you, Jake. Just want to say thank you to everyone here and having us this evening for the nomination, of course. And most specifically, I'd like to thank... Karen Burns uh, and Mike Crowther from the Indianapolis Zoo for starting the Indianapolis Prize, if you're not aware of it. It's a really, really important initiative, and I hope you could all check it out. Um, we're just happy to be a part of it. We've been a part of it for a long time. It's one of the most incredible, important things we've ever worked on, and I'd like to thank this guy for being my partner for almost 25 years. Thank you. I've had the pleasure to work on this project for um, 10, 12 years, and it's uh, my favorite project every time it comes up. So thank you to the zoo, our partners who make this possible, and uh, thank you, everyone, for being here. So our, ne our next category is Daytime Newscast Larger Markets, and our nominees are... CBS 4, News at 5, WTTV. 3 News, What's New, WKYC. 13 News at 5, FedEx Shootings, WTHR. Killing Our Communities, WEWS. And the Emmy goes to Killing Our Communities, WEWS. Impacts the entire community. And Gary Wolski spent decades, 33 years, trying to find those responsible. It's just a huge impact that has just a lot of ramifications for everybody. It's just not the two folks that were involved in the incident. These children are hurting, and, and that's what they're doing. They're acting out. Through September 11th, there have been 118 homicides in Cleveland, a 5% increase over the same period last year. But that's a 53% increase compared to 2000. Well, again, to God be the glory yet again. Yep. 
Uh, this topic really hit home for a lot of us. We were speaking on violence in the community in the city of Cleveland. I know this was in response to the mayor's grandson. Our former mayor's grandson uh, was shot and killed maybe a week or so before we ended up airing this special, and it is a very near and dear topic. Um, so thank you so much for this opportunity. Um, again, we work with some amazing individuals at News 5, um, and thank you. Congratulations to all those winners who we've announced so far. Just a few quick announcements. One, a thank you to our local meteorologists who I think pulled a couple of strings so that we had no rain. It's a little bit warm, but at least there's been no precipitation in the words of my good friend Brian Wilk. So don't forget about your social media this evening. Not only are you, of course, taking photos on your own, but back there at the house to your to behind you, you have Monroe Bush, who is doing a wonderful job. He took all the photos on the red carpet, and he'll also be posting those for our winners with their trophies as they're received. So be sure to use the hashtag IndieEmmys2022 on all of your social media platforms when you are sharing all of the celebrations and festivities of this evening. We have it next up to present from Wayne TV in Fort Wayne, morning and news anchor, Alyssa Ivinson, and first news and noon meteorologist at Wayne TV, Greg Shoup. Round of applause for our next presenters. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Greg's one of the meteorologists who cut the rain away, so no, thank you, Greg. This is out of my jurisdiction, though. <laughs> this is, this is Chuck Lofton's jurisdiction. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> now, for all you morning newsers, I, I know it's past your bedtime, so we're going to keep this going. Us evening folks are just getting going. All right, True. our first category <laughs> tonight, news feature, serious feature, single report, and the nominees are. The Pomroy House, A Path to Freedom, WEWS. Light for Levi, W-I-S-H. Young Protesters Revisited, W-E-W-S. Sacred History Saved, W-T-H-R. Homeless Hookup, Spectrum News. Justice for Melissa, W-K-Y-C. And the Emmy goes to the Pomeroy House, A Path to Freedom, W-E-W-S. in the cellar. You gotta duck, duck, duck your head. Is where runaway slaves once took refuge. <laughs> this Strongsville home, a stop along the Underground Railroad. So this is also where the slaves would come in. Exactly. Oh, freedom. Having the general store next door, um, they would get a lot of deliveries. So it wasn't unusual to see, um, you know, a wagon covered. And they are not here tonight. We accept the award on their behalf. Our next category is politics, government news. Missing the call, Fort Wayne's NBC. Crisis on the Creek, WRTV. Race for mayor, firing the chief and vaccinating candidates, WEWS. I-Team Postal Problems, WJW. Find and Rewarded, WEWS. Critical Mistakes, WEWS. I'm Not Dead, WTHR. And the Emmy goes to Crisis on the Creek, WTHR. Or, I'm sorry, WRTV. <laughs> Boy, I almost made a big one there. I don't know why I'm so emotional tonight. I was just like so proud of Andrew. <laughs> okay, so um, this story, this, this Emmy is dedicated to Josh Mosier. He lost his daughters in a creek. People called 911 to say this bridge is flooded, but they didn't send help and his daughters died as a result. And this is dedicated to everyone who is a victim of a crime who's willing to speak out on camera and share their story. So this is dedicated to him. Thank you to my husband, Phil, who's sitting at our table tonight, even though he works for the competition. I think he's a little scared of me. 
and knows what would happen if he didn't. <laughs> And uh, to my kids who will still not think I'm cool, even with this, so <laughs> thank you. Our next category, Talent Sports Analyst Play-by-Play. -play. The nominees are... Chris Denary, Indiana Pacers Play-by-Play, -play, Valley Sports Indiana. John Michael, Play-by-Play, -play, Cleveland Cavaliers, Valley Sports Great Lakes. Quinn Buckner, Indiana Pacers Analysis, Valley Sports Indiana. And the Emmy goes to John Michael, Play-by-Play -play, play -play Cleveland Cavaliers, Valley Sports Great Lakes. Brooks works on Dean Wade. Augustine checks the shot clock, it shows five, goes to take down the lane, trying to challenge Allen, and Allen put it into the fifth row. <laughs> Get that weak stuff out of here. James. John is not here tonight, we accept on his behalf. Okay, had to get clued in here. She's the pro. <laughs> the next category is promotion, news promotion, image. Wherever you go, WKYC. Morning news, wake up style, WTOL. WEWS, a better land, lake, WEWS. And the Emmy goes to wherever you go, WKYC. Hi, good morning. It's going to be a great day. Don't forget your sunglasses. It's going to be hot. Hey, have you seen what's happening in your town? My kids love that recipe. Don't forget the nose. Don't worry, I'll get you there. Bye. Take a ride at the next light. What more do you all right, thank you. Uh, we feel truly blessed to be working with one of the best news teams and also our collaboration with the Today Show. We want to thank Mickey Burns, Mac Mahaffey, Adam Miller, John Adkins, Al Roker, and our entire, entire GO team for being so supportive and being a part of this. We love you guys. Thank you. Our next category tonight, Societal Concerns. The nominees are... Digging Deeper, Climate Matters, WPTA. First Class, Promise Graduates, WKYC. Crisis in the Classroom, WEWS. State of the City, Akron, Ohio, Frit Entertainment Group. Browns Raise Awareness for Green Beret Foundation, Cleveland Browns. We have two winners tonight. The first Emmy goes to Digging Deeper Climate Matters WPTA. Hotter days. Extreme weather. Harmful emissions. And health risks to humans. A report of over 1,300 pages on climate change published by the UN warns that humans have directly influenced the amount of warming occurring in our atmosphere, on land, Wow, <laughs> it's an honor just to be nominated here um, among so many incredible, talented people here. Um, this is my thing goes to our executive producer of Special Projects, Daniel Beals. Um, he's amazing, so talented, really made this project come to life. Um, Brian McElhatton, Matt Leach, Krista Miller that all kind of helped this vision come together. Ian Hoover with his uh, incredible photography work, um, really helping us just convey such an important topic kind of uh, really getting down to the details and science of climate change. And the second Emmy in this category goes to First Class I Promise Graduates, WKYC. It's been a decade since LeBron James and his foundation welcomed the very first class of students into the I Promise program, a program focused on helping kids who may be at risk of falling behind in school. Well, this year, 
They're graduating. And tonight, we take a look inside their journey on the road to success. I struggled in my first three years of school. I know math was a hard one for me. <sighs> I'm emotional too, but I'm, I think it's just me melting. That's the tears. Um, this was a wonderful project to work on and just another reason why I love what I do and I know that you feel the same way. It's sharing those stories in our communities that really put a picture to who lives there. And this is just one of those stories that really means a lot to me and I had some great help with our WKYC team. And of course, if you're on a stage, you have to thank the people that support you the most, your family, my dad, and of course, my husband's here today, and everyone back home. Thank you. Our next nomination is for Video Essay. It's super electric. W-E-W-S. Exploring space in 21 country. W-P-T-A. Journey, Indiana, Hall and Grass, WTIU. Senior Pictures, WKYC. And the Emmy goes to Senior Pictures, WKYC. So you need to start making a list of the, de the different deadlines and stuff for the schools that you're going to apply to. The application deadline, like for Kent, is 3-1. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, that's for fall of 22. Hello. My name is Logan. I'm 17 years of age. All right. And they are not here this evening, so we will accept their award on their behalf. Our next category tonight, Writer News. The nominees are... 21 Country, The Heartbeat of a House, WPTA. Michelle Nix, Writer, WOIO. Crisis on the Creek, WRTV. Dustin Grove, Writer Composite, WTHR. And the Emmy goes to Dustin Grove, WTHR. There it is, there it is, there it is, there it is. Oh. This is the story of a great American comeback. We just come out and watch. And Bob Birchfield. It's generally uh, around lunchtime is pretty good. Is capturing every minute. I especially love to catch them in when they're in flight. For several years now, Bob has been taking pictures of his two favorite. I've been nominated a number of times, but I've never won an Emmy until now. So, um... So I didn't have any comments prepared. <laughs> As you all know, this job requires so much sacrifice, and my wife, Stacy, has felt the brunt of that over the years, and she's here with us tonight. So thank you. This is for you. Love you. We are ready to welcome to the stage our next presenters. Please welcome the Director of Marketing, for WTHR, Christine Warren, and WTHR reporter, Emily Longnecker. Well, good evening, everyone. Good evening, folks. Everyone looks so beautiful. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Um, our first category is in sports promotion and the nominees are the Cleveland Cavaliers pass the torch think media studios the sports leader WTOL Ball State men's basketball 2021 2022 intro Ball State University for the shoe 2021 season trailer Indianapolis Colts we have two winners Ooh. the first Emmy goes to the Cleveland Cavaliers pass the torch think media studios teams are not defined by a single era Jeff. 
Uh, they're not here this evening, so we will accept this award on their behalf. Congratulations. And the second Emmy goes to you for the SHU 2021 season trailer, Indianapolis Colts. There's a good football team in Indy. This is an 11-5 football team last year. That is very much so the same team back, but more talented. People were saying, hey, are the Indianapolis Colts in the Super Bowl conversation? They are a very talented football team, and they're right there in the AFC. You just look at their roster top to bottom. They've only gotten stronger. Every year's different. What you did last year doesn't mean anything. It doesn't matter. We're home. This is a very, very well-run franchise. It has a great life. Uh, thank you so much. I just, uh, this is my team, the talented team with the Indianapolis Colts. We're so proud to be able to tell the stories for our franchise to the great fans here in Indianapolis. Uh, for the shoe just really means that we all do, the players, the coaches, the fans, we're all a part of something that's greater than us, and that's this team here in Indianapolis. So thank you so much. Our next category is Human Interest News Single Shift, and the nominees are... 9-11, Remembering the Fallen, WRTV. Soapbox Granny, WTHR. Love Sydney, WEWS. Stepping Back Behind the Wheel, WXIN. And the Emmy goes to... Love, Cindy, W-E-W-S. High school football team. I just like hanging out with boys. They just make me happy. And I feel like I'm with them. She never misses a practice or a game and is always cheering for them in the stands. She's a beloved student here in Geneva, probably one of our biggest fans. So when they heard she needed help. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. They didn't hesitate to step in. This is stuff the helmet. Who okay. wants my money? <laughs> For hours Saturday, they stood by. Congratulations. We accept this award on their behalf. The next category is for news special. The nominees are. The Big Tournament Special, WXIN. Indiana State Fair Tragedy, 10 Years Later, WRTV. Vaccine Central, a WISH-TV COVID special, WISH. Cleveland Comeback, Facts About the Vax, live, WOIO. NFL Draft comes to Cleveland, WEWS. And we have two winners here. The first in news special, the Emmy goes to Indiana State Fair Tragedy, 10 years later, WRTV. That all changed in a matter of seconds. At about 8.46, the weather took a turn. A strong gust of wind during a thunderstorm caused a structure supporting the spotlights and other equipment on the stage to collapse. It landed on the people in what was called the sugar pit. The you talk, go ahead. No, we both can. Oh. First of all, thank you, everyone. We know that it's been a long, whew, unprecedented time. We're all working from home in our studios for this, this project for us here in Indianapolis. This happened 10 years ago, and it really sort of changed the way we do things. So we accept this Emmy on behalf of all the survivors of the State Fair collapse. We also honor all the victims who died on that day. It is our honor every day, just like with you, to go to work every day, share our passion and our joy to be able to tell the stories of people. So we traveled around the country. I work with an amazing group of people, obviously multi-Emmy Award winner tonight. Um, she's amazing. Love her. Love you. Her first Emmy, Nikki Dementri, her first Emmy. And let me just say, I know I'm going too long, but that's okay. Um, this lady here, you know, our producers, who we always nag at, who are always cutting our time, who won't give us those five minutes, Mr. Walsh. Um, 
they are the backbone of what we do, and so we appreciate all the editorial work that they do, our photographers, our content managers, and can I just say, a mi madre que está en Nueva York, muchas gracias a todos, eh? And I just wanted to say, this is a total team effort. I mean, the people here, yes, but there are so many more back at the station who really made this possible, and it's thank you to my husband, who's always been supportive, so thank yeah. you. My wife, gracias, hey! But wait, there's more. <laughs> the second Emmy goes to the big tournament special, WXIN. And Indiana is happy to have that honor. That's right, the NCAA announced in January that Indianapolis, Bloomington, and West Lafayette will host all 67 games. All 68 teams will stay here in Indy. Over the past weeks, six venues have been getting ready to host history. Mackey Arena, Assembly Hall, Bankers Life Fieldhouse, Hinkle Fieldhouse, Indiana Farmers Coliseum and Lucas Oil Stadium. Dave Griffiths shows us their transformations. Indiana's. Thank you. Um, you know, it's an honor to win something like this. Um, what we do every day is hard, but getting together, getting to put together something like this where you highlight the great in your city of Indianapolis is just, it's the best thing that you can do. So, um, on behalf of everyone that couldn't be here, in 49 states, it's just basketball, but this is Indiana. <laughs> Our next category is for director and post-produce. The nominees are... Ice Cream Dreams, Sam Miraporian. No Limits Leadership Club, 12 Stars Media. Andrew P. Quinn Composite, Bayonet Media. Social Media Monster, SB Prod. The 86th Annual Annisfield Wolf Book Awards, WVIZ PBS Idea Stream. And the Emmy goes to. The 86th Annual Annisfield Wolf Book Awards, WVIZ PBS Idea Stream. They are not here this evening, so we're going to accept this award on their behalf. When you think of Cleveland, Ohio, what comes to mind? To me, freedom and expression come to mind. Cleveland was a major destination for escaping slaves as they made their way to freedom. Our next category is sports program, post, produced, or edited. Our nominees are... Building the Browns 2021 Training Camp Part 1, Cleveland Browns. The Zone Extra, WISH. Tribe Report, Episode 25, Bally Sports, Great Lakes. Earning some respect in Buffalo, Game Recap, Indianapolis Colts. The Road Back, the Cleveland Cavaliers. And the Emmy goes to... Earning some respect in Buffalo game recap, Indianapolis Colts. Jonathan Taylor starts out left side, cuts up at the five. He is He's incredible. He's wow. Incredible. Step off his legs into the end zone. Jonathan Taylor, that was a thing of beauty. That's touchdown number four against Buffalo. Jonathan Taylor and the Colts lead by 24 points. Off his back foot, tipped up in the air, and is tipped to himself. That is Kenny Moore. Moore tipped it to himself. Hurry, hurry, hurry. And the Colts have three. Count of three takeaways today. Sorry, we sit so far back. We're just trying to make sure you watch as much of our stuff as possible. Um, this is a, another team effort. We really appreciate just you know everyone here coming for this event, and uh, this is the first time I'm been in front of a mic for this kind of thing so very excited to be here thank you everyone there's so many talented people in this area and it's been awesome so just thanks to everyone that has supported us and our team and uh go Colts Woo! Go Colts! <laughs> our final category in team coverage the nominees are Threat, WJW, 
WRTV, FedEx Shootings Team Coverage, WRTV. Mass Vaccination Clinic, WEWS. Remembering Maxton Soviak, Funeral for a Fallen Navy Medic, WOIO. And the Emmy for team coverage goes to Mass Vaccination Clinic, WEWS. Five on your side, investigator Jonathan Walsh is with us live right now. Jonathan, you've got the answer. <laughs> How did they do? Well, pretty well. And I've got to tell you, though, you have to keep in mind that far fewer people are going to be coming through these doors today than the overall goal of 6,000. But even with that in mind, everybody we talked to today said today was a good day. The process was real, real simple. Julie Crosby from Streetsboro tells us getting her shot today at the Wolstein Center was... Me? Yes. <laughs> First Timers Club, what's up tonight? <laughs> um, wow, uh, telling a story like this, obviously with what we've all had to cover for the last two years, um, this was the first bright light in a lot of struggle for the couple of years, but telling the stories with these guys, um, especially they're like family to me. Um, we've been together for a long time. Um, so thank you guys for everything you do every day, every weird thing that I ask you to do <laughs> and to figure out. Um, Tara, thank you for your patience as I try to look up all the requests you give me. Um, obviously, Mom and Dad, thank you for uh, letting me fulfill the dream of working in television, and I know my mom's watching, so yeah. hi, Mom. And most importantly, go box. <laughs> and a Hoosier hospitality welcome to our next presenters. They are from Buckeye Community Arts Network BCAN. Please welcome to the stage Allie Kruger and Tim McMahon. Allie, we made it. This isn't the way we thought we'd be up here tonight, but here we are. Uh, glad to be presenting here at the Emmys. Uh, let's take our first category. What do we have? Our next category is audio, and our nominees are... Music in Transit, Total Fun Productions. Singing Winds, The Life and Works of T.C. Steele, WTIU. Applause, Tri-C Jazz Fest, WVIZ, PBS, Idea Stream. And the Emmy Award goes to Applause, Tri-C Jazz Fest, WVIZ PBS. And they are not here for this event, so we will accept this on their behalf. You have the national perspective on a, a, a festival like this. It has a reputation of being an educational festival. Can you uh, reflect on that a little bit? Okay, apparently they are here. We were just reading the card. Do I have to give the award back to him? I thought I was accepting that on their behalf. I already took it home, so. Thank you very much. It was a team effort. We enjoyed doing it. Thank you so much. Our next category is sports story. The nominees are Seeing Isn't Always Believing, WJW, Paralympic Athlete, Fort Wayne's NBC, Soul of a Boxer, WEWS, Indy's Field of Dreams, WTHR, Peyton Manning, From NOLA to Hall of Fame, WTHR, Jenna Fessemeyer, Paralympian, WKYC, Back in the Game, Beating Leukemia, WTOL. Allie, your biggest sports fan I know. Go ahead. Go sports. Uh, sports story goes to Soul of a Boxer, W-E-W-S. Soul of a place called Soul City Gym. Look for them shots. There are coaches, oh! fighters. Cruise that jab. And the legends on the wall, like current champs. This is my space. This is where I'm at. This is where I know I'm supposed to be. 22-year-old Charles Conwell Jr., I love being in a new place with new faces. So many people at their tables wondering if this is what I really sound like. 
which is always. Uh, watching Andy Sugden work is the real honor. Um, the way that his mind works, his skill set laid down on a timeline, um, it's incredible. I just happen to be the guy that they got to follow him around this time. Thank you. All right, and our next category is investigative multiple reports, and the nominees are murder in the suburbs wtol where there's smoke there's overtime wrtv account takeover crisis wews gasping for care wthr and the emmy goes to murder in the suburbs wtol And all she heard was the phone drop and heard my son saying in the background, who are you? What do you want? What are you doing here? They were rambling from the house looking for Hey man, couldn't find shit. Couldn't find no safe, nothing. So I guess they started uh, checking in walls and shit. And she said she just drove by the house and the house looked ransacked. All the lights are on. My son's not answering and neither is the girl. Okay, they are not here this evening. We accept the award on their behalf. The next category, research, and the nominees are. It's not a very good use of our funds. It is unethical to, uh, to, to pay yourself more than you should. Consen served as Wayne Township's fire chief for 10 years, including 2011 through the end of 2018. So when you were the chief, did you get overtime? Absolutely not. When you're the fire chief, it's pretty much a 24-7. It's not a set time. Were you salaried or were you hourly? Uh, salary. Consen's successor, Randy Adams, says the township board never established fire administration as salaried. Um, okay. <laughs> so, first of all, my photographer and editor, Brad Forrestal, without him, I am absolutely nothing. It's data, it's words on a page. He makes everything look so beautiful and come to life. So, Brad, I don't know if you're watching the live stream, but thank you so much. Um, and while this Emmy is super important, the most important thing to me is that the people in that video are being held accountable. And since our story aired, four people have been charged with a felony <laughs> and now have to pay back $350,000 to the taxpayers. And that is what is important. So um, thank you for the Emmy. And the next category is news features, serious features, multiple reports, and the nominees are. Roadblocks to Hoosier Health, WXIN. You are not alone series, WKYC. Keep the lights on, WKYC. Destiny Story, Sarcoma Awareness, WISH. And the Emmy. For news feature, series feature, multiple reports goes to Roadblocks to Hoosier Health, WXIN. The retired black anesthesiologist says the pandemic shown us health care is often a privilege and not one afforded to all Hoosiers. We have to address them. Now she and 10 congregations are working with IU Health to address racism in health care and the disparities it causes. And so if I've gone into an emergency room seeking care, I've been looked at as just a single black woman who no one cares about a title at that point. And there are so many members of our congregation. Wow, Tom says I'm speaking and he's not. Ph photographers, right? <laughs> um, there's so much to say on this topic. I think we've had such few years here where what do you pick? What do you do stories on? For us, we decided to talk about healthcare race inequities, rural inequities, as well as pharmacy deserts, and learned so much. And through that, we also held our lawmakers accountable and asked them what they're doing. And it led to a state senator deciding that he needed to make legislation and start researching pharmacy deserts, in, not just in his community in Gary, but throughout Indiana. So that is the reason that we do journalism here. And I'm supported by so many strong journalists, whether it is our producers, our photographers like Tom here, and fellow reporters and anchors. So I'm so thankful to be able to stand here in this space 
and hold this award, but to tell these stories. And I also would be remiss if I didn't honor my family and my loved ones who support us. Each of us here knows how many sacrifices we make. My dad was the first person to put a newspaper in my hand, and my dad is here now. Hi, dad. And he continues to tell young people that they need to pick up newspapers, that they need to watch news. So I wouldn't be here without his support, as well as my mom. So merci pour tout ça nous j'ai fait, tout sacrifice, on parle pas la sang yobem. So thank you. All right, and our next category is video journalist, and our nominees are. Breathing Rare Air, WXIN. The Weight of Death, WXIN. Nicholas Gardner Drives to School, WFMJ. A Reflection of Change, WKYC. Okay. Some drama here. We have two winners. We've had a lot of this tonight. Uh, the first one goes to, we'll do it one at a time, video journalist, and the Emmy goes to The Weight of Death, WXIN, Michael. <laughs> Imagine being so big. My best lifts are an 804 squat. Let's go, Steve! No, seriously, colossal. I benched uh, 620 pounds. That lifting weight. Good for another one. Becomes. So I've, I've, I've won a few of these, but I've never actually done a speech because it's always been the pandemic. <laughs> actually, Dan Spieler, if you want to come in and sub for me again, that would be wonderful. Um, but... In this category, it's for people who shoot, write, and edit their own stuff. And over the last few years, we've all had to change gears and find new ways to do that during the pandemic. Uh, and it's, it's, been, it's been a learning experience for a lot of us. Uh, and then as you learn new things, how to factor them in to, to what you do now. And uh, it's, it's thank you so much for, for this and also to my lovely wife who's sitting back there and has supported me through this whole journey. Thank you, guys. And our next winner is Nicholas Gardner, Drives to School, WFMJ. Like a lot of 16-year-olds. Just the way everything is put together and functions. Nicholas Gardner. I have resurrected two very old sobs from the dead. Loves cars. The freedom and they are not here, so we accept their award on their behalf. Immeasurable. Sobs are his favorite. Quirky and interesting. And he's already put thousands. Our last category is uh, entertainment. And the nominees are. Polka Across America. There's it. Total Fun Productions. Holidays in the CLE. Flagship Media. Vess Rutenberg. Communist Beach. Maze Entertainment, LLC. Pride Night Powerhouse Halftime Show, The Cleveland Cavaliers. All right. And the Emmy goes to Holidays in Cleveland, Flagship Media. really good. I could keep watching it. They're not here tonight. We accept the award on their behalf. Thank you. And welcome to the stage. Two Emmy winners tonight from WTHR, special projects producer Megan Simpson, and from WXIN, Fox 59 evening anchor Dan Spieler. Hey, thanks, everybody. This has been a fun night so far, huh? Hey, got to get our selfie. Oh, yeah, we're going to get a selfie with everybody. Wave hi. <laughs> hey, the All shade right. feels good. Now that the sun goes down, it feels pretty good out here, right? It's nice. 
All right, we've got a few categories to present. Our first is documentary cultural. The nominees are. Isabel and Roy, WVIZ, PBS, Idea Stream. The Bob Ross Experience, WIPB. No Limits Leadership Club, 12 Stars Media. Welcome to Kami High, Seven Cylinders Studio. All right, and the Emmy for Documentary Cultural goes to Isabella and Roy, WVIZ, PBS, Idea Stream. David C. Barnett and Mary Fechtow. Not knowing quite what to do with it, she volunteered at the 1030 Art Gallery, which was an artist co-op gallery, and I think she found what she wanted to do. She was working with artists. She was helping sell things. Things were being... Thank you. This story we started four years ago. It started out as a 60-second a spot news that, that some of Roy Lichtenstein, the pop artist, some of his paintings were being auctioned off in Cleveland. And I thought, what? The guy from New York is something in Cleveland? That was the beginning of a long story. Check it out online. Thank you. <laughs> All right, our next category tonight is Daily News Report Single Shift. The nominees are... Reclaiming a Lost Family Legacy, WTHR. Remembering Matthew Alexander, WRTV. Voice of Comfort Amid Mass Shooting, WXIN. It's a mega project, Indy's North Split, WTHR. It's going to take time to put things back together, WEWS. Lost in Translation, WXIN. All right, for Daily News Report Single Shift, the Emmy goes to Lost in Translation, WXIN, Mike Sullivan. Met Abdul Rauf, his translator. It's just a matter of time before they, they find him and his family. Rauf remains stuck in Afghanistan with each text between the two friends. He goes, waiting, what will happen to us? more concerning as the U.S. pulls out of the country. When I was over there, you know, it was, it was a given that the interpreters and the, and the people that helped the U.S. were... So this is another story where the things that we do make a real impact. So as you saw, this, this electrical worker was over in Afghanistan for years, and he was trying to get his buddy out, his translator, that uh, was, was afraid uh, in Afghanistan they were going to kill him and kill his family. Uh, and, and we did this story, which it was hard at the same time because we, we aired the story and then because he wanted to get the word out, wanted to see if there was someone there that could, could maybe go over there or help get him out and help save his buddy. And then as soon as we did, he said, you got to blur the rest of the story anytime it airs again cause for, for fearful that you know, his, his buddy could, could die at any moment. So it's, uh, what we do is important, and I think we should just never, never forget that. Thank you, guys. Our next category is for editor short form content up to 10 minutes. And the nominees are Ice Cream Dreams, Sam Miraporian, NRPA Gold Medal Award Finalist Video, Cleveland Metro Parks, WKYC Editor, Short Form Compilation 2021, WKYC, John Tim, Editor Composite, WTIU, Idea Stream Public Media, Needs and Solutions, WVIZ PBS Idea Stream. Cleveland Guardians unveil Cleveland Guardians. All right, and the Emmy for short form content goes to Cleveland Guardians unveil the Cleveland Guardians, Steve Asbury. We are a city of fire and water, of trees and towers, built through generations of blue collars and the brightest scholars and all of those who have worked harder. We hold tight to our roots and set our sights on tomorrow. And this is our team that has stood with our city for more than a century, from old municipal to the corner of Carnegie. Uh, thank you, everybody. This is, I, first of all, I was nominated against uh, someone I looked up to. Um, Eric Hewitt was in, in this category. He had my job before I did, and it was just an honor being with him on this journey. 
this is this is unreal. Um, twenty versions. Each version had to be ready to go. Um, it, it, it was the weirdest project I ever worked on because I couldn't tell anybody about it. I knew the name. A bunch of 1 a.m. editing sessions where I'm sending messages back and forth with Nick Gambone. I just wanted to thank Tara Hewitt for setting the stage with an amazing script. Tom Hanks for <laughs> recording. <laughs> Tom Hanks for lending his voice talents for free, recording it in Greece on his cell phone. Craziest story. You couldn't, couldn't make it up. Um, just everybody at the Cleveland Guardians for trusting me to make such an important video in-house and everybody involved in it. Uh, God, I, I, I'm blanking on names right now, but Terry Hewitt, Nick Gambone, Nikki Schmidt, Jason Wiedemann, uh, Mike Donilon. Mike Z, everybody involved in the name chain process, thank you. And I want to say thank you to my family for all the sacrifices that they made to allow me to be here tonight. Thank you, everybody. We'll have to check, but this may be the first Tom Hanks associated project that's won a regional Emmy in our chapter. That's pretty cool, right? That's true. All right, our next category tonight is Environment Science News. The nominees are... Journey, Indiana, A Brood Awakening, WTIU. Dumped, WTHR. Tornado Sirens, WXIN. And the MA4 Environment Science News goes to... It's a hard one to open. WTIU, Jason Pear and John Tim. The adults, when they emerge and after they've come up out of the ground, they mate and then the female lays her eggs in the stems of trees. Those immature cicadas then migrate down to the soil they burrow into the soil and they begin feeding on the roots and they do that for 17 years congrats to wtiu they're not here this oh they here here is someone right now look at that congratulations yeah on behalf of john tim and jason Peer, you know from wtiu thank you so much for this honor and this recognition thank you Our next category is a new category this year in our chapter, Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion. And the nominees are... Forest City Hospital, WJW. Civil Rights Trail honors Black History, WEWS. Shuba Robinson Statue, WFMJ. Invisible No More, the fight against AAPI hate, WKYC. Three News, a turning point, Pride, WKYC. Meet the real Cleveland Indians, WKYC. All right, and the Emmy for Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion goes to Three News, A Turning Point, Pride, WKYC, Christina Flowers, Jessica Miller, Sarah Shookman, Kira Cotton. Goldner Farasta, Program Director at the LGBT Center, says the school was opened with the help of CMSD as a way to provide a more inclusive learning environment for LGBT youth. School one really gave me hope for like the future that maybe I wouldn't have to drop out. So important that our youth have the opportunity, just like all youth, to be in a safe, affirming environment. Often people assume that schools... I work behind the scenes for a reason because I hate speaking in front of large crowds, but oh gosh, <laughs> she can do all things through Christ who strengthens her. <laughs> this is very special because this was a project that I've wanted to do since 2016. And WKYC gave me the opportunity, the platform to do it, and I wanna thank them so very much. I also want to thank Denisha Thomas for laying the groundwork for a turning point. I want to thank Adam Miller, John Atkins, Denise. I'm going to, I'm starting to name names. Adam always says don't name names because you're going to forget somebody. Margaret, oh my goodness. But just thank you. I appreciate it. And I want to thank my family and my friends. I appreciate the support. Thanks.
Our next category is morning newscasts, larger markets, market size one through 50. The nominees are? News 8 Daybreak, WISH. 13 News Sunrise, Tokyo Olympics, WTHR. 13 News Sunrise, FedEx Shootings, WTHR. 19 News This Morning, Mayor's Grandson Murdered, WOIO. And the Emmy for Morning Newscast goes to News 8 Daybreak Wish. Katie Ayers, Kylie Conway, Drew Blair, Scott Sander. All the angles here, including if you're just waking up and wondering where you need to go to check on a loved one, we have that information for you. FedEx is speaking so far through statements. Witnesses are talking about what they saw. We start with where the investigation stands right now. Katie Wisely has been on the scene since the overnight hours and uh, joins us. What do you know so far, Katie? What an amazing team I work with every single morning. It's a pleasure to wake up at 2.30 in the morning to go and do this, which isn't something many people can say. Al, Brady, my team over there at, this, at the table, thank you so much. Maggie, she was our producer for so many years on Daybreak. We really are a family, and it shows. Um, thank you. This is such an honor, and I wish Drew and Scott and all the rest of our team were here this this e I almost said this morning, <laughs> this evening, and uh, I'm going to go to bed here really soon. Good night. Thank you. All right, our next category is another diversity, equity, inclusion. The nominees are... That's done, really. Just imagine that. Lena Lai, 3 News. Tonight on A Turning Point, three words that have caused an uproar in education across the country. So what is critical race theory and why does it cause such division? In their own words, kids on being taught. We have both a programming category for diversity, equity, and inclusion as well as a news report. Obviously just one nominee in this category, so I don't know. Let's see who, who won this, right? Uh, the Emmy goes to Three News A Turning Point, WKYC, Christina Flowers, Jessica Miller, Leon Bibb, Sarah Shookman, Lena Lai, Margaret Bernstein, and Dennis Poverine. You know, a, a turning point has been such a project of passion for us at 3 News. And, you know, it, it's all about embracing diversity, equity, and inclusion, right? And, you know, as we all renew our efforts toward that goal, you know, I, I want to just remind everybody that diversity is diverse, right? So let's include all races, let's include all ethnicities and, and all cultures and remember everybody and give them that voice. Uh, we are very proud that 3 News has given us this platform to share these stories, so thank you so much. Congratulations, we're so proud to offer these categories this year. Congrats to our winners. Um, it is officially halftime of our show tonight as we pause to honor eight exceptional members for all their hard work through the years. So this year we have four gold circle members, or inductees I should say, and four silver inductees. So if you're in that group, come on up here for a second, all right? For every member of this year's class, uh, as we're going to show you here, this honor was kind of a big surprise. Check it out. That this year, Natus is giving a Silver Circle Award to Mr. Joe Paganelli. You are being inducted into the Central Great Lakes Regional Emmys <laughs> Award Silver Circle. Yes! Yeah. Silver Circle! Yeah. Silver Circle! Really? Congratulations to our beloved assignment editor, Lisa Lowry. She has been inducted into the National Academy of Television Arts and Sciences Silver Circle. It is a society of honor for those who have been in the broadcasting business for 25 years or more. I'd like Linda Jackson to please come forward. She is going to be inducted into the Natus Silver Circle.
here in the nation's capital. Carl, be on. You, you didn't know we were going to do this today. We've got a special surprise. Our Gold and Silver Circle Committee wants to invite you both into our Gold Circle for 50 years of broadcasting excellence. Congratulations. Thank you very much, Carl. Carl and I have been, been, been out on the streets of Cleveland opposite each other for, for years. It makes it all worthwhile. 50 years in, in broadcasting overall. January on America's North Coast. We want to mark that occasion at Natus this year as well. Our Gold and Silver Circle Committee here he wants to invite you into our gold circle for 50 years of broadcasting. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all gonna make me blush. <laughs> well, thank oh, you very much. 50 years of service at stations in our region through your own production firm, awards administrator, and now our executive director. We want to invite you uh, into our gold circle this year as well. Congratulations. Congratulations, Bob. That's a great group to be in. We're here to serve. And it's an honor to do so. I, I'm absolutely stunned. You guys completely blindsided me with this. <laughs> I am like so humble and just so appreciative. I never thought I'd get that award and thank you. Thank you, Natas. Thank you, world. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you can join us in Cleveland to honor our gold and silver circle inductees later this summer. But right now, please join me in congratulating this year's gold circle inductees, Leon Bibb, Carl Monday. And here with us tonight, there's Bob Hammer and Harry Boomer. Congratulations. We also want to recognize our silver circle inductees, Joe Paganakis, Lisa Lowry, Linda Jackson, and Chuck Lofton. We're going to pick this thing up, these Silver Circle uh, Awards uh, coming up next month. So this is not the time for us to get those, but it is the time to say thank you, right, Linda? Absolutely. Chuck, what a blessing to be standing here with you. Oh. You've been one of my favorites for a long time, mainly because you love the Peru Circus, but that's a different <laughs> show uh, from my hometown, and they love you there. Everyone in the state adores you. So... What a blessing, right? <laughs> blessing to be here, blessing to be in this industry, and blessing to be part of my team, definitely. Yeah. And you know, when I think back, I started in this business when I was 16. I'm 65 now, so my, most of my life and my career is in the rearview mirror, and it makes every single day beautiful. It really does. To have the honor of working in this business with great people uh, doing not just the weather, but the Chuck's Big Adventure. Thank you, Michael Bruder, for funding us, what, for another five years, hopefully, uh, to get to do that. But thank all of you uh, for being a part of this business. It is a noble business. It is a wonderful business. And uh, we're going to, again, say our thank yous more in depth in Cleveland. But I want to thank my wife of 43 years. She's right Very over nice. there. Couldn't have done it without her. Yep. And thank you to my family. By the way, I'm standing next to Superman, just so you know. <laughs> All right, let's uh, continue tonight because we've got a wonderful evening still with some uh, great nominees. And this time, our category is Documentary Topical. More Than Corn, 12 Stars Media. Indianapolis Prize, Saving Species, a WTHR special. Indianapolis Zoo and... Back, the Choir of... Videos. IMB Press, 12 Stars Media, Social Media Monster, SB Prods. And the Emmy goes to the big comeback, the Choir of Man at Playhouse Square, Think Media Studios. They aren't here this evening. There's a show called The Choir of Man. We started speaking to Playhouse Square several months ago. It seemed like this far-off dream that we could bring the show to Cleveland. We reached out to them and said... Congratulations, Think Media. Our next category is Children, Youth, Teens. Pandemic Playhouse, WTIU. 
Epiphany, Mays Entertainment Company. Simple Civics, WFYI. Science School with meteorologist Kelly Dobeck, WOIO. News Depth, WVIZ, PBS, Idea Stream. Who was Basquiat? Made for Kids, Outrageous with Nate. And the winner is Who Was Basquiat? Made for Kids, Outrageous with Nate. His work in the spotlight. Despite the success he had so quickly, his emotional instability continued to be a problem. With great fame comes great pressure. In his short career, Basquet created around 1,500 drawings and 600 paintings and many sculpture and mixed media pieces too. Of course, the art critics quickly followed, relentlessly labeling Basquet as a quote. Boy, does that look good. They're not here this evening, so we'll accept this award on their behalf, and let's continue. Graphic Arts is our next category. Motion Graphics, Visual Effects, Compositing, and Art Direction. This American Carol Opening, Ball State University. David Herviton Creative 2021, WKYC. Cleveland Browns Preseason Motion Graphics Package, Leagues and Teams. Babcox Media 2021 Show Opens, Babcox Media. And the Emmy goes to the American Carol Opening, Chirp Chirp Ball State <laughs> University. They're not here this evening, so Chuck is going to accept this on their behalf. Anyone out there thinking snow? No. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. Our next category tonight, investigative single report. Cost of excessive force, 16 million and counting, WXIN. Death sentence, the Indianapolis Star. Many elevators, myriad of problems, WEWS. Are anti-vaxxers winning? AJ+. Plus. A Fatal Five Minutes, W-E-W-S. Well, such great competition there. And the winner is Death Sentence, the Indianapolis Star. You combine the, the alcohol and drug withdrawal with the natural tendency to be most stressed during that 24 to 48 hours. That is the time period when individuals need to be watched closely. You're literally thrown naked into a tiny, tiny sail with a camera watching you, and you're given this odd-shaped blanket that you can't hang yourself with, I guess. But it doesn't. And the Yemi goes to. Whoops, I'm sorry. The next category. I'm nervous. Hard news report, no time limit, is our next category. And the nominees are... 19 News Troubleshooter, when will Miss Valerie have heat, W-O-I-O. My son should have been red flagged, W-X-I-N. Help us, find us, W-T-H-R. A deadly 911 crisis response, a suicide, W-X-I-N. All right, this, this Emmy goes to... My son should have been red flag WXIN. According to the medical records, Brandon was seen by a doctor who wrote, Brandon denied wanting to die via police and that he feels fine. Sheila believes that if the concerns she raised about Brandon's mental instability were enough for police to seize his gun, authorities should have used Indiana's red flag law, named after police officer Jake Laird, to keep Brandon from getting more guns in the future. He should have been red flagged. I what a category. They are not here this evening, so we gladly and proudly accept their Emmy for them. Our next category is commercial. Indianapolis Zoo, Reptile Rhyme, Borshoff. Goodman Campbell, Brain and Spine, Bayonet Media. S&P Work Lab, BU, W-O-I-O. CIFF 45 Streams, Bring Film Home, Fusion Film Works. Dan Young Chevrolet, Wood Innovative Group. 
And folks, we have two winners in this category this evening. And the first winner is Reptile Rhyme, Borshoff. The American alligator thrives in the swamp. And with powerful jaws, she's the champion of Trump. It's a treat to me. An Orinoco crocodile staying quiet and hidden is more of their style. But the Orinoco future needs a real game changer. These guys are in danger, so don't be a stranger. Go on a trip to the zoo for some reptile chit chat. Also helps preserve their habitat. We'll see you right here. Can't wait for your bit. It's a hu huge honor. Um, first time nomination, first time win. Um, very, very cool. It is so awesome when you find a client that is willing to do something unique and interesting. Um, and the Indianapolis Zoo is awesome for that. Um, huge thanks to Colin um, Bennett, Anthony Hopkins, and nope, Anthony Howard, and, <laughs> and um, Emmanuel Carter, Carter yeah. helped do the, the, the rap and the music com composition. Phenomenal work. Really, really proud of what we came up with. Thank you. We told you there were two winners. The second Emmy goes to CIFF 45 Streams, Bring Film Home. Hello, Fusion Filmworks, are you here? Filmworks isn't here, so we accept their Emmy for them. Our next category tonight, Military News. Journey Indiana, defining success, WTIU. Your service, WEWS. The Real, Forrest Gump, WTTV. The Long Shadow of War, Spectrum News. The Emmy for this category goes to your service. <laughs> Woos! <laughs> and they are here tonight. He died without family, without surviving relatives, but without question, he made a lasting impression. He would be so happy to see so many people here that loved him and cared for him, even though they really didn't know him. Not wanting him or his service to our nation in the U.S. Army pass quietly without so much as a funeral. This community, your community, stepped up. I'm going to go really quick, and then Josh can go. First time Emmy Award winner, right here. We do this. We do this uh, series for those who have served and those who are currently serving our nation in the military, and it is our pleasure to do so. Uh, every story means so much to every one of us. Jody, thanks for letting us do it the way we do it. Thank you so much. Josh, talk. Uh, I will say that Rob uh, basically treats our working relationship just like that. Josh, you talk, and then, you know, I cut things. Uh, no, uh, I can't tell you how seriously Rob takes every one of these stories. Um, anything that comes into our inbox, uh, he organized a card drive for a veteran who turned 100 literally a couple months ago and hundreds of cards poured in. He cares deeply about each and every one of these veterans and it's my privilege and my honor to be able to look at these stories and then kind of critique them here and there and then argue with him in the newsroom back and forth. So um, he's a wonderfully talented journalist and all the photographers that work on these stories are yes. more talented than yes. both of us combined. So, yes. um, so Bridget, Jeff Barnhill, um, Andy Sugden, anyone who works on any of these stories is wildly, wildly talented, just like every photographer who um, goes underappreciated. So thank you so much. Congratulations, Congratulations. It's been great being here with the pride of Peru, the fantastic Fort Wayne anchor, Linda. Thank you, folks. We love Chuck. <laughs> well, let's hear it for Chuck and Linda. Congratulations to them for being honored tonight and also our winners up to this point. Now we would like to welcome to the stage WRTV Indianapolis Call 6 Investigates Kara Kenny and also investigative reporter Rafael Sanchez. Good evening. Fun fact. Buenas noches a todos. Uh, Rafael and I have been presenting together since like... Hemos presentado desde el año 2011. 
Since 2011. I said that already. Okay. <laughs> oh. I thought you were going to thank some people. So, we wanted to thank Le queremos a las gracias. our general manager, a nuestra gerente, Lana Durbin Scott. Lana Durbin Scott, right here in front, and Maureen Jennings, Ms. our Adini, news director. You have, listen, when you translate, there's a delay. I can't be a fast subtitler. A nuestra directora de noticias, Maureen Caruso Jennings. Right. Yeah, there okay. You go. okay. All right, and the first category is. There ends the subtitles. The category, Talent Reporter Sports. And the nominees are... John Kosick, Excellence in Sports Reporting, WEWS. Storytelling in 2021, WEWS. Charlie Clifford, Sports Reporting, WISH. And the Emmy goes to... WEWS, John Doss. You have to commit yourself to it. Come on, come on, come on. Day in, day out. Congratulations, sir. This is all we do. Jab and do it the other way. Within the soul of a place called Soul City Gym. Look for them shots. There are coaches. You never know when it's WEWS John. So John Kosick, it's two to one, buddy. I'm coming for, uh, I may come for political next year. Uh, congratulations to Charlie as well. I know Charlie does fantastic work here in Indy. Uh, thank you to Andy Sugden, Dave Colabine, who worked, with, uh, worked on stories with me on this. Thank you to Rob Powers, who uh, asked me to say that. <laughs> to my wife, Young, and to my baby boys, Theo and Max. Thank you. All right. The next category is magazine program, and the nominees are... A 21 Country Christmas, WPTA. New Day, Cleveland, WJW. Journey, Indiana, episode 318, WTIU. The Saturday Social with Mike Polk Jr., WKYC. Journey to Tokyo, WTHR. All right, and the Emmy goes to... This Saturday Social with Mike Polk Jr., WKYC. And they I are not the here this dining. evening, so we'll variety, be accepting this the lack award of commitment, on their behalf. The freedom to take one bite of something, realize you don't like it, and just cast it aside. There's nothing more American. When the buffet shut down last year, I feel like I lost a part of my identity, and also roughly 10 to 12 pounds. And just to be clear, I'm not saying that buffet dining is not safe right now. Restaurants are taking additional measures to try and make certain of that. But there's a difference between believing something is safe and being comfortable doing it. In fact, I'm currently in the process of reevaluating not just my buffet stance, but several of our below. Congratulations to them. I'd like to make a request since I'm a volunteer and maybe won't be invited back next year. That's okay. We know that many of the presenters, when they come up, they thank their wives, their husbands, partners, the, all of you who are here with, who support somebody. Can you just rise so we can recognize you? Because we know that in this business, we cannot do it, we can't do anything without our wives, our husbands, our boyfriends, girlfriends, lovers, cousins, children. So if you could just rise, allow us to say thank you. Muchas gracias a todos. Because without you, whether we work day shift, night shift, the in between shift, life can suck without you. So thank you so much for just making our lives easier and for supporting us every single day. Thank you so much. I was just gonna say, Andrew's roommate, you need to get up. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> what just happened? Okay, the next category. <laughs> Health Medical News. And the nominees are... One year later, Rita Kirby's story, WEWS. Diagnosis, debt, bad, baffling billing, WEWS. Falsifying tests, creating chaos, WEWS. Questioning their care, WTTV. Janae's Journey, WTHR. Welcome back, Lindy, WXIN. Make them know your name, WEWS. That meatball tastes like gasoline, WTHR. <laughs> 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 
and the Emmy goes to Janae's Journey, WTHR, Scott Swan, Cody Maddox. Hearing a cancer diagnosis, Janae undergoes her final radiation treatment, and here's the words she's prayed to hear. I can, well, walk out of there today and say I'm cancer free. Janae um, has a very good prognosis. Um, I think she is highly likely to be cured. After your last radiation treatment. Ooh, man. How about that, huh? <laughs> Words can't begin to describe how special that story is to me. Um, that was the first special project I've ever been asked to edit, ever. And it was also the story that got me my first nomination, and it got me my first Emmy. So... Ah! First time club here, amazing. Um, I have, there's so many people to thank for this. Uh, obviously my best cheerleaders I've ever had, my family who drove over nearly two hours to get here. Thank you, my amazing wife. Thank you for putting up for, with me in this news business for so many years. I'm sorry for the late nights. <laughs> Uh, my friend Kelly, who suggested I apply to WTHR, because he said, hey, you never know, you may get an Emmy one day. I thought she was lying, but <laughs> uh, I also want to thank WTHR for allowing me and so many people on the team to edit and create these amazing stories like this. And to Scott Swan and Janae for trusting me with their story is incredible. I thank you very much. And fun fact, today is Janae's birthday. So Janae, happy birthday. Congratulations. Thank you very much. The next category is Talent Commentator Editorialist, and the nominees are... The images that launched a movement, WKYC. Next 400, Juneteenth Letters to Our Ancestors, WOIO. I have some thoughts on that, WKYC. And the Emmy goes to... I have some thoughts on that, WKYC, Michael Polk. And he is not here this evening, so we will accept the Emmy on his behalf. It's a shirt that I got at Mark's to come in handy one day. Today is that day. So, the day has finally come, and we have a new team name. And, as should be the case with all breaking news that is bound to upset a lot of people, at least we got to hear it from Tom Hanks. Together, we are all Cleveland Guardians. He's a trick. Congratulations to them. Our next category, Nostalgia. The nominees are... 36th Annual MLK Commemorative Celebration, WOIO. Untold, Hidden Stories of Northwest Ohio, Willow Beach, BCAN. The Emmy goes to Untold. I ripped this thing. It's, it's, it's BCAN, Willow Beach. Yes. Yeah, that's it. They were going to build this family fun center on, right on the Maumee River and um, you know, compete with the Cedar Point. And in fact, when they opened, Cedar Point and Willow Beach both applied for a roller coaster from the same uh, company that built roller coasters. And uh, there's a funny story about how they had to swap that out. But Toledo was in a great location for these guys to start something where they could attract people from all over the Midwest and really all over the country. The way I see it, People will be talking about Willow Beach for years to come. We got it. Wow, this looks a lot different from up here. Oh, this is awesome. Y'all let me take this in for just three seconds. <laughs> Cheers to passion projects, because this was definitely a passion project. Uh, first and foremost, I want to thank God for giving me uh, God given talents to just be a storyteller and enjoy storytelling. Um, I want to thank my parents for having me. I think that's pretty fair. I want to thank my wife for being supportive and, and, and always just being there with me in the trenches. A lot of times with these projects, I kind of dive into a hole and then I got to come back out and then I'm like, look what I did. And she's like, all right, great. Bye. Uh, I want to thank, um, 
the whole team that helped put this together. Uh, Anthony Twirls um, was my uh, cinematographer, Charles Welch, the host. Uh, Ted Long was the our um, content person that helped out with a lot of the content. I want to thank the whole team at BCAN. Uh, we have an awesome team, and I just want to shout them out. I want to thank the whole team at Buckeye Broadband. And, yeah, this is awesome. This is absolutely awesome. What a great night to win an Emmy. Thank you. All right, uh, the next category is historical and cultural, and the nominees are Bomb City, USA, WKYC, Veterans Voices, WANE, Jesse Owens, Olympic Oak Tree Planted at Rockefeller Pond, WVIZ, PBS, Idea Stream, Untold, Hidden Stories of Northwest Ohio, A Day to Remember, BCAN. And the Emmy goes to Jesse Owens, Olympic Oak Tree Planted at Rockefeller Pond, WVIZ, PBS, Idea Stream, Dennis Knowles, and they are not here this evening, so we'll accept on their behalf. Owens' Big Ten victories and success at the U.S. Olympic Trials secured him a spot on the 1936 U.S. Olympic team. The games were set in Berlin, Germany, where Adolf Hitler and the Nazi Party sought to put Aryan supremacy on display. This was a showcase of what modern Germany could do. The Hindenburg and the Graf Zeppelin flew over the stadium. Yeah, I like Congratulations to him. I want to just take point of privilege one more time. You know, what we do this every day and we compete all the time. And one of my competitors, Lindy Thaxton, want to thank you for being the face of courage and an inspiration to thousands of people. And my colleague down the street on Meridian, Chuck Lofton, thank God you're with us. We appreciate you and your service to our community. We're glad you're health as well. So just wanted to point that out. They will not invite me back. <laughs> Talent reporter, Daily News. Ladies and gentlemen, the nominees are... Alyssa Ivinson, W-A-N-E. Dustin Grove, Daily News Reporter Composite, WTHR. Alan Carter, Reporter, WTHR. And the Emmy goes to... This one? Dustin Grove! WTHR! We are looking for any information about the Anthony Schatz profile and anyone who may have had contact with that profile. The case that you're referring to is a separate child pornography case. So how are they connecting these dots? How might these dots be connected or not? Mm -hmm. We just don't know. There's an yeah. information gap still here. Yeah. Thanks again. This uh, is for the producers who let me take a few extra seconds or minutes in my stories, uh, and also to the photographers and editors that I work with who make these stories what they are. Thank you. Ready to welcome our next presenters to the stage from Spectrum News. Here is multimedia journalist Michaela Marshall. And from WKYC in Cleveland, news anchor reporter, WKYC TV's Lena Lai. <laughs> wow. Yeah, wow. <laughs> so, wasn't planned, but we yes. have some color coordination going on. A lot of red dresses matchy, here matchy. tonight. Yes. <laughs> awesome to be here. This is actually my first uh, in-person gala, so really excited to be here tonight and have the opportunity to present. So, let's awesome. get started. Okay, let's get going. The first category is interview discussion, and the nominees are... Political Radar, WPTA. Indiana Week in Review, WFYI. A sit-down talk with Nina Turner, Blah Oak Ventures. Everything We Can't Say, Rise Productions. Right. He goes to Everything We Can't Say, Rise Productions. To accommodate some changes. 
I was also going on vacation soon, so I asked to be able to wear my braids on air because I had already made the appointment to get my hair braided. I was told no because it didn't fit the look that I had been promoted at. Yeah, so, you know, to catch everybody up, um, over the past year, states, including the one you're in, uh, Michaela, California, put into law the Crown Act, which bans hair discrimination. Um, there's a few cities here and there nationwide who passed similar ordinances, uh, but for the most part... Wow. <laughs> um, sorry, I'm so overwhelmed. Um, this was a project... I know we talked a lot about, I've heard a lot of you talk about um, how we are a voice for the voiceless. And uh, so often we're covering other people's stories and this was a project really about us, about journalists of color, about black journalists, about the things that we've experienced in the industry. And the goal was to be that voice, to give that opportunity. Um, there's about a million people <laughs> that I'd like to thank for this. So many friends and my whole family's here. Um, but I'd really like to just dedicate this one to my dad. He, um, he passed away a few weeks ago. And, um, you know, with projects like this, I'm sure as any journalists know, um, it's a bit of a risk to take. Um, it was difficult to tell those stories and to tell them honestly. Um, but my dad always believed in that. You know, he believed in taking that risk. He believed in the risk was so much more important than anything else that could come with it. And I'm so proud to have had him here and he'd be right here front and center if he was still here. But I know he's with me and I just want to I just want to thank him. This is for you, Daddy. Wow, uh, very, very touching. Um, so the next category, news feature, light feature, multiple reports. And the nominees are... 21 Country, WPTA. Chuck's Big Adventure, WTHR. Hidden Gems, WEWS. And the Emmy goes to... Chuck's Big Adventure, WTHR. The Mars Cheese Castle in Kenosha really is world famous. Hey Mike, you really are the head cheese here, right? <laughs> That's right. And this is a legacy business. It is. My grandfather started it in 1947. Why is it so well known? We do something special here. This is not just a store, it's an experience. A lot of people want to come by and see what this castle contains. And the sign, it's even protected by law. Well, Chuck has asked me to talk, which is... Uh... <laughs> Is, is not my skill set, but I'll do my best. Um, let me just say, do it, this, this is a series that it has Chuck's name on it. It's all about Chuck, and we've been fortunate enough to work with him on it. And Chuck Lofton is joy. And that's so much fun to work with him on this stuff, because when you look through the viewfinder, it's his joy and his experience. And it's just, I hope that translates to the audience as genuinely as it happens in person, uh, because it, it, is, it is genuine joy. And it's, it's great to be a part of, so. Thank you very much. First Timers Club. Okay, our next category is lifestyle. And the nominees are Destination, Putin Bay, W O I O. Indie Style Special, I Love Lucy, Halloween Episode, W-I-S-H. And the Emmy goes to Indie Special Style, or Indie Style Special, I Love Lucy, Halloween Episode.
Lucy, breakfast is ready. Coming. Oh my gosh, first of all, that was so much fun to put together. <laughs> but saying Vita, Vita, Vegemin like 10 times was so, so difficult. Um, first Timers Club. I've been nominated a few times and I've never won. <laughs> um, this is so emotional for so many reasons, but I want to thank you all so much for this opportunity, for this nomination. Peggy and Jason could not be here, but I know they are just as grateful for this award as I am. Thank you to my husband for always being so supportive. This is just absolutely everything to me. This is to the little girl in me, the little girl, the little boy, and all of us who had a big dream, and that we can tell our sons and our daughters someday, if you have a vision, if you have a dream, go for it, and someday, this will be the result. Thank you so much. Lots of really awesome speeches tonight. Next category, long-form promotional spots, and the nominees are... We are a city on the rise, forging into the future from our ironed out past. We are a city of fire and water, of trees and towers, built through generations of blue collars and the brightest scholars and all of those who have worked harder. We hold tight to our roots and set our sights on tomorrow. And this is our team that has stood with our city for more than a century, from Old Municipal to the corner of Carnegie. Well, gee, I wonder who the winner is. The Emmy goes to Guardians Unveil, the Cleveland Guardians. Uh, this will be an abbreviated version of the first one. <laughs> uh, this is a group award. Uh, people I left out in the first one. My VP, Alex King, please don't fire me. Uh, wanted to shout out the Print Entertainment Group for their beautiful aerial photography. Wanted to shout out Russell Verlinger for you know waking up very early, getting a lot of those beautiful portraits that we filmed. Uh, and you know Kaylee Kohler uh, and our entire live experience group who didn't know quite what they were working on, but still put in a whole lot of effort into all these shots. So thank you again. It means the world. Thank you. Our next category is technical achievement, and the nominees are WRTV, Modcast, WRTV, International Comfort Products, Doorway to Comfort, CVR. And the Emmy goes to WRTV Modcast. WRTV. WRTV has done something no other news source in our market has done. Stream news in a modular format, engineered and produced in a streaming slash OTT program rather than using traditional on air programs and methods. Oh my God. Oh my God. Thank you. This is amazing. I still have tears in my eyes from hearing some of you accept your awards for the amazing things that you've created. And there's no way we could bring this to people on streaming or on air without the technology we've worked on. Modcasts are a way to take streaming technology and bring your content on air and vice versa. It's for the future. It's journalism for the future. As a millennial, I wasn't sure it would ever happen. <laughs> it's here. And thank you. We're so, we're so thankful to one of our engineers, Douglas Fish, who helped make this possible. He's not on this, but he's part of this. And thank you to everyone at, at RTV6, WRTV, who's made this possible. Kona Williams, Michael Hartz, Shakira Harris, Raymond Steele. I can't name as all the people in our newsroom who have made this possible. Thank you. I have no words. I don't know what to say. All right, and our next category, promotion, news promotion, topical. And the nominees are... WEWS, Soul Boxing, WEWS. Robocall Crackdown, WKYC. 
Investigators Get Real, Delphi Four Years Later, WTTV, Chuck's Big Adventure, WTHR. And the Emmy goes to Chuck's Big Adventure, WTHR. Need to change the scenery? Bundle up. We're taking you on a winter wonderland adventure in Wisconsin. From the epic tubing hills of Kowaskum to the beautiful ice castle at Lake Geneva. We'll go surfing in Sheboygan, the Malibu of the Midwest, and visit a cheese lover's paradise at a castle in Kenosha. Join me for my big... Well, thank you. You already met the team that makes this happen. It's been, they do such a great job. They go out on these epic road trips four times a year, and they come back with all these great stories like mustard museums. And it makes my job pretty easy. Um, I'll still take this, but I just want to know that it's so much fun working with Chuck, who is truly uh, a TV legend, and it's, so much, it's such an honor to work beside him for all these years. And I can't wait to see where your next big adventure takes you, Chuck. Thank you. Such creativity during the pandemic. You know, anchoring from home, all my kids know is that mama swears a lot. <laughs> the last category we're going to present is live sports program, and the nominees are... Indians Live Pregame, Bally Sports, Ohio. All Access Indy, the Hall of Fame, WISH. Blue Zone, WTTV. Pacers Live Pregame Show, Remembering Slick Leonard, Bally Sports, Indiana. The Emmy goes to Indians Live Pregame, Bally Sports, Ohio. Man, Bradley Zimmer hit one to a place that hasn't been visited in quite some time, but we might have a visitor there for you tonight. Really? Yes. Well, Andre Nott is supposed to join us now, but I'm told he's not down on the field. So we're going to have to find out where Andre Nott is here tonight oh, at Progressive yeah. Field. Yeah. Oh, way up there. I think I see him. Okay, I see you, my friend. <laughs> my friend, I see the back of you. <laughs> I had to come up to this. I'm not seeing anyone coming up to the stage. I'm assuming they're not here tonight, so we accept this on their behalf. Congratulations. All right, we welcome a couple of sports directors from WEWS. Sports director John Doss and from Fort Wayne's WPTA ABC 21, sports director Zach Groth. Welcome to the stage. All right, Zach, so many first-time winners tonight. Congratulations to all the – well, congratulations to everybody, especially the first-time winners. Um, and everybody looks so great still. Yeah, I would say the same thing, except the lights are really bright. I, I honestly can't see anyone's face. Yeah. But I assume you look awesome. Although my, my wife is watching the live stream, and she said I look dewy. <laughs> what does that mean? I th it's a good thing, I think. Yeah. Okay. Big shout out to everyone in Fort Wayne watching, especially my grandfather-in-law who turned 90 yesterday. Shout out to Andy. Let's get this thing going. Our next category, talent, reporter, consumer. The nominees are... Fighting for Consumers, WEWS. Angela Brower, anchor and reporter, WTTV. And the Emmy goes to... Angela Brower, anchor and reporter, WTTV. Thousand small businesses, including Murphy's Jewelers, Caring Friends Daycare, and Hair of the Dog in Carmel. When you compare Indiana to what other states have done, we were able to, to open uh, safely because we had PPE. It doesn't have this, it's not real. Legitimate PPE, too. You know, give a tub it's really tough to tell her. Okay. Tonight, it was sold several counterfeit items in 2020. See, there's no metal piece here. But Bosso said the IEDC refused to pay manufacturers until... I'm going to pull a millennial and pull out my phone. Oh, my gosh, you guys. I did not expect this. The competition was fierce, obviously, in that, and I really, really didn't expect this. So thank you. Um, I just need to tell you... I love news. I love news so much, and I, I love being in a place where all the same people love the same thing I do. I love anchoring. I love investigative reporting. 
and man, it feels good to be up here. Um, this, means, this means a lot. Um, a couple people to thank, Jamie Suter, who is my photographer. We're paired every single time together. He's known as James Suter at the Emmys, but he has been at our station since we started news. So I think 36 plus years, and the man still works as hard as day one, not for anyone else but himself and the person he's working with, and he's told me that multiple times. So thank you, Jamie, for always being so passionate and doing everything I ask. To my husband back there, I know he won't stand up, um, for always allowing me to say, one more second, two more seconds, I need to look at this package. To my kids who are fighting Nana for sleep right now because they want mom and dad to come home and party with them. Um, and all my colleagues in the back who I can't see because these lights are so bright for being so um, motivated every day and competitive. Those are two very important ingredients in this job. And I appreciate all of you for making the last five years in Indy one of the most important in my life. And to all of those in Cleveland who, I hate to say this, I grew up watching. <laughs> My Cleveland people. Um, so thank you, you guys, so much for everything you do and for this. And I hope everyone's having a great night. Thank you. All right, our next category, special event coverage. And the nominees are. Honoring Officer Stalker, WTOL. Circle of Lights, WTHR. And the Emmy goes to Circle of Lights, WTHR. This incredible production with the dancing Santas. I mean, come on. It's, it's, it's awesome. Great. We are absolutely excited to be a part of the AES Indiana Yuletide Magic and be singing with Sandy Patty live on stage, which is a dream, so we're... we're Absolutely excited. Well, we're so excited that you're here with us for the next month or so. And I'm going to put on my coat, head on back out to the stage. But right now, let's go out to the Indianapolis Zoo and our friend Anne-Marie Tiernan with... So this was the first live show back where people were downtown for the pandemic. So we felt it was very important to uh, just really give them a good show. And I guess we did. So thank you very much. Yeah. First timer. Yeah. Yeah. Our next category tonight, Education Schools News. And the nominees are... Passing the Trash, a Broken System, WRTV. The Next 400, Schools Failing Ohio's Poor Children, WOIO. And the winner is... Passing the Trash, a Broken System, WRTV. What do you think of our system? I think it's broken. Ashley Nation is victim one in the Indiana Department of Education's complaint against Nathan Schul, filed on November 23rd. It outlines complaints from former students at both Silver Creek and North Central, including allegations Schul talked with students about sex. Yeah, no, no criminal charges against that guy, but uh, a, a huge lawsuit was filed against the uh, teacher and against the... Um, uh, school district in Washington Township because of the allegations that we found and that is really what is important is holding people accountable so I just would like to thank again um, my photographer Brad he's not on this but again without him I am nothing he makes everything every document come to life he uses extra cameras and I love him so much and thank you to my bosses Lana Maureen my former bosses who have always put trust in me to know that when I'm not on the air, I'm not shopping at Target, I'm usually looking at documents and crunching spreadsheets. So thank you for putting all that trust in me. All right, our next category, live sports producer. The nominees are Brown's Countdown 2021 Season, WEWS. Brent Valenti, Senior Producer, Valley Sports Ohio, Valley Sports Great Lakes. Where you at, buddy? And the Emmy goes to 
Here we go, Brownies. Here we go. Browns Countdown, WEWS, Randy Zimnick. In the National Football League, and if you can have his presence on the football field, that bodes very well for your football team. I do not understand these criticisms that we get saying, oh, okay, he and All right, we got a good program. The problem is the host of the program. Um, no, look, it's about the team. It's about the work. It's about the Cleveland Browns. You grow up in Cleveland, Northeast Ohio, diehard Browns fan my whole life. Monday through Friday, life's hard for folks in Cleveland. Sunday, it's about a release and a relief, and it's about the Cleveland Browns. So thank you, everybody. I appreciate it. And our next category, promotion, news promotion campaign. The nominees are Dare to Dream, WKYC. All Come Together, WTHR. And the Emmy. And the Emmy goes to Dare to Dream, WKYC. Never expect that instant connection. This is the news. Reported Your dream. By Jeff and David it won't be easy to achieve, it takes hard work. Imagination. Good evening. I'm Russ Mitchell. Passion. Drive to be the best version of yourself. Thanks for letting me tell your story. Take chances. Be fearless. Learn. And if for. Wow. Dreams are powerful things and. Tonight, we want to thank and congratulate Russ Mitchell, Russ, and Peyton Bishop, who plays the younger, younger version of Russ Mitchell. Um, Peyton, well, Russ, you're the heart and soul of our newsroom. You're a leader, a mentor, a friend to so many of us. Thank you for continuing to set such a great example, and thank you for inspiring so many people to dare to dream. Peyton is eight years old, and this was his first time acting. He was fantastic. Buddy, don't forget us when you win your first Oscar. Uh, I want to congratulate this guy who's been silent the whole night. I promise he actually does speak. Uh, his name is John Riley, and he is just one of the best. He's so talented. Our cinematographer, also Dan Canturna, our art director, and uh, Margaret Bernstein, who we share this award with. And I just want to thank our entire marketing team, news team, um, and everyone else I'm probably forgetting. We're bringing it home, Russ. Thank you. All right, our next category, Weekend Newscast Large Markets. And the nominees are... CBS 4, Weekend News at 11, WTTV. Fox 59, Weekend News at 10, WXIN. 13 News, Remembering FedEx Victims, WTHR. Weekend Sunrise, 9 a.m., WTHR. And the Emmy goes to Weekend Sunrise, 9 a.m., WTHR. Teen seasons with the boys in blue leading into a Super Bowl win in 2007 against the Chicago Bears. And even when Peyton left Indy to go to the Broncos, his fans stayed true. Our Dave Calabro caught up with some of those fans at Colts camp to have them share their love for Peyton. I was a fan when they were 0 and 13, and I would say they could come back from this. And with this guy, they did. They did. Peyton. What did you like so much about him? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> it is such an honor to win this for WTHR um, or to receive this for WTHR. I've been on weekends for 30 years, and um, last year our weekend newscast won an Emmy, and um, this year this is great. So anyway, let's get a promo. Um, <laughs> but really, I, I share this with all the people behind the scenes, Travis Peters, Joe Fenton, Sarah Jones, uh, Matt Roberts, <laughs> Emily Poe, and... Uh, Dustin Grove. I'm also a first timer winner, but I've not been. So, <laughs> but this show in particular, it, it couldn't have happened without producer Kelly Stevenson. 
She was awesome. She cracked the whip every morning or every weekend uh, to get us to keep it spunky and keep it going. So anyway, if I forgot anybody, I apologize, but thank you very much. It was an honor. <laughs> And our next category, Talent Reporter Features Human Interest. The nominees are... Opioid Crisis Worsened by the Pandemic, WRTV. Michaela Marshall Reports, Spectrum News. Jade Jarvis Composite, WEWS. 2021 Monuments of Hope, WEWS. And the Emmy goes to... 2021 Monuments of Hope, W.E.W.S. Years it took could grow in its place. Eleven angels. For Deborah Williams. It's been a long, hard journey. She hopes the memory of Talisha Fortson and ten other women. Amelda Hunter. Will now finally get the spotlight they deserve. LaShonda Long. Shining a light. Michelle Mason. On the darkness that hovered over this neighborhood. Diane Turner. When something happened to people that's on drug or alcohol, they're human. So Clay is not here this evening, but I will accept this on behalf of my buddy Clay. Thank you. And welcome back to the stage, our MC for the evening from the Indianapolis Colts, Lara Overton. I have to say as much like joy and authentic excitement as you see up here. It is such a privilege to be there backstage and see when people come back there and it is just authentic because when people work in tele challenge journalists like the past two years, to, so to see everyone celebrated and rewarded for the hard work is such a privilege back there and every single person sitting here tonight should be applauded for the hard work that you all do, and tonight is not only a night to celebrate what has been accomplished, but to also be inspired and be motivated by those who are around you, because I know, having worked previously in local news at Fox 59 and CBS 4, often you don't even get to see your own coworkers. Some of you are on the morning show, some of you are on the night side, so this is a night where you actually get to see those people and celebrate with them, and hopefully everyone is just so inspired and motivated because this business takes an unbridled passion and that has been on display tonight like nothing I could have imagined. So round of applause with nominations and with awards tonight. And it is a very long drive from PA to central Indiana, so we hope that they have received all of the Hoosier hospitality this evening. We are so glad that they made that trek from Erie News in Erie, Pennsylvania. Please welcome Kara Coleman and Jameson Hixenbaugh. Good evening. Yeah, seven hours to be exact, but we're so happy to be here. It's been uh, such a beautiful evening. We know it's getting late in the night, so we're going to do this more like a Vosot, not a package, okay? We're going to keep it moving. Yeah, it's definitely an honor to be here, and congratulations to all the nominees and everybody who's already received an award. But let's keep it going. Let's find out who's next. Our next category is Sports One Time Special, and the nominees are... All Access Indie, Madness, W-I-S-H. Building the Browns, the playoffs, Cleveland Browns. Countdown to Indy, WTTV. And we have two winners. The first winner, Building the Browns, the playoffs, Cleveland Browns. With his words about the guys that he have in the building, you know, and I think, you know, you got a lot of guys who are fighters, who are hard workers. Let's go, Joe! Who... You know, have been through things who, you know, maybe not have played in playoffs games and things like that, but understand what big moments are. Browns trying to get into the end zone for the first time this afternoon. Landry in motion. Mayfield under center on first and goal. Play action fake. Lux. And we will accept this award on their behalf. There you go. <laughs> Next one. 
Countdown to Indy, WTTV. Field, I think, in 500 history. Our JoJo Gentry has more on all the storylines this May. Reigning series champ Scott Dixon took his fourth career Indy 500 pole at age 40. The two youngest drivers in the 500 field will join Dixon in the front row. Colton Hurt. They're also not here, so we'll accept this award on their behalf. And the next category is continuing coverage. And the nominees are... NFL Draft in Cleveland, WJW. Dance teacher arrested for raping students, WOIO. WRTV, Afghan refugees arrive in Indiana, WRTV. Finding a fix, WEWS. Downtown Cleveland Development, WEWS. The shooting at FedEx, WTHR. And we also have two winners in this category. The first, Emmy goes to Finding a Fix, WEWS. Is a paramedic with the Northwest Ambulance District in Geneva. She's seen way too many overdose calls and deaths. How long have you been doing CPR for? What we've been doing up until this point hasn't really been working. You know, she's right. There are so many drugs on our streets right now that when you take a look at just opioid-related... We need to get real about opioids and getting people the scientific, scientifically uh, evidence-based treatments. We have to get rid of the stigmatism, and that was what this was all about. We were trying to find solutions that would do away from the things that haven't worked, like shame and embarrassment and putting people in jail without treatment. And I think we showed that there are better ways to do this. They're out of the box sometimes, but people really do need this help. So I'm so happy. I want to thank Jody, our news director, for getting us on this. Mark Ackerman, the producer who has had a whole bunch of um, – uh, experience covering this this topic so mark thank you for your expertise um, Beth Peak and Rob Klein our video journalists are just out of this world I, I, they make me look better than I really am and so I just want to say one last thing uh, my dad at one point told me he in fact could have been an alcoholic had it not been for getting away from a certain job. So his mission when he retired was to go into prisons and jails and help people who've been addicted. And I want to thank him for that example. Dad, I love you. I love my family. And thank you all for this honor. And our second winner for continuing coverage, the Emmy goes to Downtown Cleveland Development, WEWS. This looked 10 times better. Ricky says this building looks better, and the developers agree, but they also say it's better for the environment. It'll be LEED Gold certified and the largest mass timber building in the country that cuts down on construction time and means it's made out of a renewable resource. This is the A-plus location in the market because all that is right there. Developer Dan Whalen says the key is that there are tenants for almost all of the 36,000 square feet of ground floor retail space already. The big event venue on the... And we'll accept this award on their behalf. And our next category is promotional campaign. And the nominees are... First Alert Weather, WTOL. Faces of Northeast Ohio, WKYC. All right. And the winner is First Alert Weather, WTOL. Hey, Chris. Hey. What's the week look like? The 
The wig looks great. Cool, thanks. Have a good one. Weather happens. Be prepared. First alert weather. Wow, thank you. Um, I work next to one of the best creative in the business. He takes crazy ideas and strategies and turns them into miracles um, with a great sense of humor. And uh, thanks to our team back in Toledo. Couldn't have done it without him. And we're first time club tonight yes, too. First time. So yes. first Emmy for us. Yes, absolutely. Um, <laughs> I'm overwhelmed right now. Um, first, I want to thank you, Tammy, for uh, believing in me, bringing me up to Toledo. <laughs> To my wife, my rock, my everything. I love you forever and always. You are the greatest, strongest person in the world. To my mom, who passed two years ago, who said that I could be something special. To my dad for being so proud of me and guiding me and leading me. And to my three little girls who are hopefully asleep today. <laughs> Grandparents are watching them. I just want to say thank you to everything, everyone. Thank you for everything. Um, and I have to also give a shout out to our weather team for being able to do the campaign and for our other marketing producer, Alex. I don't know if you're watching, but thank you for being the actor. Thank you, Heather Schramm, for being an actor. It's just been wonderful. Thank you so much. And our next category is honoring those who we have heard so much about this evening, photographers, short form, short form and long form. Here are the nominees. Joseph Vela, composite, Bayonet Media. John Tim, videographer, composite, WTIU. Journey Indiana, my own little world, WTIU. Cleveland Creatives, voices of CLE, Danny Pytel. Nick Cave, Summit Lake, Heard, W-N-E-O, W-E-A-O. And the Emmy goes to Journey, Indiana, My Own Little World, W-T-I-U. Really are. And when I see their hot colors, sometimes the hot colors will definitely give me an idea for another set of colors that I would like to try on a marble. My uh, two aspects that are the strongest in glass are my marble making and my turtle making. It's kind of odd. I was asked to make a sea turtle pendant one time. It yeah, thank you again for this honor and this recognition. Uh, um, so, thank you all. Sorry, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm really like shy, and that's the reason why I work behind the camera. So, <laughs> execute. <laughs> okay, the, so I was. I always work behind the scenes. Thank you so much. Yeah, and have a good evening. And our next category is sports documentary. And the nominees are... Fourth and goal, the Indianapolis Star. Black College Football Hall of Fame, Journey to Canton, WNEO, WEAO. Madness, the Indianapolis Star. Building the Browns, trust the process. And the Emmy goes to... Fourth and goal, the Indianapolis Star. The Indy Steelers are much more than just a youth football team. They are a bright light through the darkness of gun violence. The Indy Steelers is a family. It's the family of that neighborhood. And they get the shot at a better life. And that's what the Indy Steelers are all about. It's not about winning a championship. Yes, we do that. And yes, we're good. And yes. We accept an award on their behalf. And the next category, musical composition and arrangement. And the nominees are. Indianapolis Zoo, Reptile Rhyme, Full Length, Borshoff. Kofe Boake, live on Fox 8 in the morning, Blah Oak Ventures. Singing Winds, the life and works of T.C. Steele, WTIU. I Love the Land, original song, WKYC. There are also two winners in this category. The first being Singing Winds, the life and works of T.C. Steele, WTIU. And I... T. 
Casey Steele. And we'll accept the award on their behalf. And the second Emmy goes to I Love the Land, WKYC. Crown a beauty queen. What is this thing? Check out this crib. Wait, is that Leon Bibb? Hola, mis amigos. Cue the band. It's the best in the land. The trumpet sound, so come on down. We'll dance and cheer. It's vibrant here. I love the land. Es mi ciudad. I love the land. Es mi ciudad. They're not kidding when they say these lights are really bright. <laughs> first Timers Club and first nomination, first win. And if I have to say, um, if there was a story I'd be so proud to be nominated for and won for, it'd be this one. Um, talk about representation. Let's, I want to start with David from Suavecito Project. Laid the foundation of the music. It's all original. The people behind it. Um, I don't know if there's many words to say other than I'm so proud to be a part of this project and um, to work with everybody next to me. I just want to say that this one goes out to all the Latinos and Hispanics who wake up every morning to make this nation a better one for every single one of us. Also for my family, mi familia, mi papá, mi mamá, abuela y abuelo, mis hermanos, watching from Puerto Rico, esta va para ustedes. Thank you, gracias. Cleveland Indians baseball, Valley Sports, Ohio. NBA, Cavs, crazy comeback versus Celtics. Valley Sports, Great Lakes. Indiana Pacers home opener versus Miami Heat. Valley Sports, Indiana. And the Emmy goes to... NBA, Cavs, crazy comeback versus the Celtics. Valley Sports, Great Lakes. Rubio directs traffic. Upstairs! Yes. Oh! Yes! Mercy. Yes! Rubio finds Allen at the rim. A thunderous dunk has given the Cavs an 89-87 lead. Great pass because he looked to Mobley, but he wanted to pass it to the left side. But he did a great job of looking off and going into Allen for the dunk. They're not here, so we don't accept their award. She grew up in Akron, Ohio, went to Ohio University. She now calls Indianapolis home. From CBS4, here's Angela Brower, and also to present from Wood Innovative Group, the head guy, Barney Wood. Okay, first of all, those of you that are still here, you're the real ones, okay? <laughs> and also, do you know that there's dessert over here? Because <laughs> it took me a minute to find those. Yeah, so they, we found it. <laughs> <laughs> we did find it. They're still over there, by the way. All right, our next category is promotion, program promotion. Here are the nominees. This city, it's full of culture, family, and amazing sights. You might be surprised to learn it in your own backyard. Okay, here it goes. My name is Jorge, and you might know my name. I haven't hit fame. I'm telling stories in this refrain. What a beautiful day in the CLE to explore. I love my community. It's the place I adore. So I call my friend Marissa to check it out. Let us show you what this Latino scene is really all about. Vamos, vamos. No time to waste. From the east side to the west side, like Tinos Elite, is our place. There's so many. And the Emmy goes to I Love the Land WKYC. What an honor to accept this award. First, I would like to thank God, who blessed me with a career where I get to produce meaningful content as a living. To my family, I love you so much, my parents, my siblings, my nieces and nephews. To everyone sharing the stage with me right now, this could not have been possible without each and every one of you. 
thank you so much to Margaret Bernstein, Mickey Burns, Mac Mahaffey from WKYC Studios. Thank you so much for believing in the importance of spotlighting the local Latinx and Hispanic community in Cleveland. To the local dancers and musicians who came out that mor morning to film, thank you so much. And it's just an honor to be able to produce content on a, on a community that has so much to offer its residents in its own backyard. So mi gente, este premio es para nosotros. Thank you, muchas gracias. Our next category is talent, reporter, investigative. Kara Kenny investigates WRTV. Jasmine Minor, WISH TV. Expose, challenge, and change, WEWS. Sarah Buddison, WEWS. And we have two winners in this category. And the first Emmy goes to WEWS, Sarah Buddison. <laughs> Oh, wonderful. Rita Keith says her son, Arthur, would give you the shirt off his back. I love my son. Everybody else loved him, too. He had a beautiful smile. Arthur's aunt, Matricia Givner, says the 19-year-old was also a mentor to kids in Cleveland's King Kennedy housing complex. A lot of people don't know that. He had a, a really nice demeanor. So they never expected the news they received. I don't think she's here, so we will accept it on her behalf. All right, the second winner, I love ties. Kara Kenny investigates WRTV. Bridge, it also alleges the county converted the 911 calls about the bridge to I calls or information only, meaning they did not have to send an officer to the scene. Josh's attorneys obtained the 911 calls through a records request and provided them to WRTV, as well as this call from a Franklin County Chief Deputy. Uh, Sarah Buddison, Jonathan Walsh, you guys are amazing. I'm always just honored to be in your category. And I just got back from IRE, the Investigative Reporters and Editors Conference, and I was feeling a little bit down on myself because I saw the best investigative reporters in the nation, all of their best stuff, and I kind of left thinking like, man, I really need to step it up. And so the thing is, is that while this work is important, Important. there's still so much left to be done and we need to continue to hold people accountable and that's really the very essence of what we should be doing as journalists so thank you so much gosh we have some good categories here this is awesome all right our next one is breaking or spot news here are the nominees wrtv breaking coverage of the fedex shootings wrtv Two shot, taken to hospital in Youngstown, WKBN. OSHP shooting suspect, manhunt, WTVG. WKBN, Storm Team 27, tornado coverage, WKBN. High school lockdown, WOIO. And once again, we have a tie. The first Emmy goes to... OSHP shooting suspect manhunt WTVG. They are not here this evening, so we will accept this award on their behalf. Happened right here on County Road 223. If you take a look over here, this is the barn in the wooded area where they found that 42 year old suspect. Take a look at the video. Our cameras were rolling as authorities from multiple agencies went behind that barn. And our next winner is. WRTV, breaking news coverage of the FedEx shootings. Additional callers say there's a possible person shot laying near security in the front entrance of the building. Just something in my gut told me something was wrong tonight. I just didn't know what. Families of the employees who work there rushing to this Holiday Inn. She was coming down the stairs. We got to go, we got to go, we got to go, we got to go. It's just been crazy hectic. No one knows anything. Worried, sick, just waiting to hear if their loved one was alive. I just hope to God he okay. It's very scary. Um, I ended up, you know, calling or sending a message to my boss. I'm like, I don't know. Oh man, 
It's a shame that Rick Harker's not here tonight. He's the most amazing producer. I love him. And Amanda Starantino, she's now anchoring in San Francisco. Love you, Amanda. And thank you so much for this uh, award for WRTV. And I'm so glad that we are uh, winning some Emmys tonight. Because I love you guys so much. And we work so hard year after year. And this means so much. Okay. Our next category is weather news. From the forecast to the field, WPTA. Eight tornadoes in two hours, Northeast Ohio's Tornado Swarm, WKYC. Fort Wayne's first weatherman, WANE. And the winner is legendary. Eight tornadoes in two hours, Northeast Ohio's Tornado Swarm, WKYC. Uh, this is the north side of Hudson, so the downtown part, this is going to pass just to the north of you. We've got Middleton Park in there. Yeah, weather one if we could. Um, you can see we've got Middleton Park. There's um, uh, 91 is the big road that goes through the Valley View Road as well. This is the area that we're watching right here. This is very strong. And they're not here this evening, so we will accept this award on their behalf. All right, one of my favorite categories, photographer, news, sports. Jason Thompson, WISH-TV. Faith Denig, photography composite, Ball State University. Video composite, 2022, Steve Rhodes, WTHR. 2021 composite, WTHR. Okay. Gee whiz, guess who? Steve Rhodes, WTHR. One of my favorites. Literally bigger than life. The giants of Japan. Uh, thank you. Um, <laughs> Uh, credit to Scott Swan, Chuck Lofton, uh, just a whole list of people I've worked with on these stories. It just happens to be a video category. But, um, and, and thanks to our management, producers, everybody I work with, it gives me a shot to take chances and do stuff and sometimes fail and sometimes, you know, hopefully it works out. So thank you very much. Scott, Steve. All right, our last category is something special. Can we just get a round of applause real quick for all the directors? As an anchor, like, thank you. Thank you for putting up with all the newscast talent and all the baloney, right? This is our final category for us anyways, director newscast. News 5 at 6, introducing the Cleveland Guardians, WEWS. News 5 at 11, the NFL Draft, WEWS. All right, the Emmy goes to News 5 at 6, introducing the Cleveland Guardians, WEWS. So far, we have not seen any signs here at Progressive saying the Guardians, but I'll tell you, most of the responses we got today were mixed. Some love the name the Guardians and love the reason behind the change, while others say it was not needed. And Congratulations. Will always it's be the Indians to them. We caught up with them at the team shop. So after, in January, after 32 years at Channel 5, I've retired as a director there, and this is like a cherry on, on, on top of the cake here. You know, everybody up, up here talks about the talent and the creativity at their stations. I think that's fantastic. But Channel 5, it's not only the talent and the creativity, but it's a family. And I miss that family every day. So thank you for EW Scripts, and thank you for WEWS. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Please welcome Central Great Lakes Chapter Gold Circle inductee, Harry Boomer, and Circle Silver Circle inductee, Joe Paganakis. Welcome to the stage. Wow. Praise God for this amazing evening. 
Harry, such an honor to be on this stage with you tonight. Joe, it is uh, absolutely my honor and congratulations on becoming a Silver Circle inductee. That's a wonderful honor. I was on it a few years ago, and I got to tell you, it is such a, a, a wonderful experience to be appreciated by your peers. And I've been watching you for a very long time, appreciating what you do. Thank you. Hey, let's hear it for Nata Central Great Lakes, Dan Spieler, Bob Hammer, Jonathan Walsh, who's won numerous awards tonight, as always, for this amazing event tonight. Let's hear it for Nata Central Great Lakes right now. Yeah. All right, all right, stop this. All right. The first category that I have the honor to present here tonight is the lifeblood of all newsrooms. I know Harry's going to agree with me on this one. Producers. Indeed. They do it all. So the first category is live news producers, and the nominees are... Eric Risto, Composite, W-E-W-S. Allison Hammond, W-X-I-N. Producing team coverage amid chaos and excitement, WKYC. Monica Albers, Craft Achievement Entry, WXIN. And the Emmy goes to WXIN. Congratulations. Right now, we are less than 24 hours away from the NCAA tournament. Every game being played I think right, she's here coming right there in central Indiana. I use Assembly Hall in Bloomington and Purdue's Mackey Arena in West Lafayette will host the first four games starting tomorrow afternoon. The courts are in place tonight, the teams are in town, and we are ready for the first. I love producing, so uh, this is a real honor. Um, <laughs> I want to thank my parents who are watching in Kansas City right now, and just my whole team who's always willing to do anything that I can come up with, so thank you. The next uh, category is Anchor Sports. Anthony Calhoun, WISH-TV. Justin Feldkamp, BCSN. And the winner is Anthony Calhoun, WISH-TV. Aiden Manning, a yeah, great relationship with him as well, especially at practice, right? Right, and, and this is a guy that took a couple years to get into the Hall of Fame, and what did Peyton do? Peyton campaigned on Edgerin's behalf and told a story early in his career that he would skimp on the fundamentals. He would quit his workouts a little early just because he wanted to watch Edgerin James run the football. That's Peyton Manning we're talking about, and that's how good of a runner Edgerin James was. I accept on behalf of Anthony Calhoun and the Wish TV sports team. All right, this is a big one. A big one. Well, they're all big. Talent Anchor Weather. Here are the nominees. Check with Chuck, WTHR. Meteorologist Ross Ellett, Composite, WTVG. Jason Nicholas, Severe Weather Composite, WOIO. Meteorologist Katie McGraw, Severe Weather Composite, WEWS. And the Emmy goes to WTHR. Our congratulations. Thank you, Joe. Wow, thank you all very much. Uh, to be in a, uh, a group with those three, uh, you know that uh, you're in great competition, and they do a wonderful job. So let's hear it for the other nominees tonight. <clears throat> I want to thank my weather team, Angela Buckman, Lindsey Monroe, Sean Ash, Kelly Green, uh, who make my job a whole lot easier. They're wonderful. But I especially want to thank uh, the folks who watch every morning because what a job that we have, folks, 
where people count on us because at our very core, we're public servants and it's an honor to have done this at Channel 13 uh, WTHR for 37 years. Thank you all, appreciate it. Before I read the next category, let me just say to all of the nominees, congratulations for a job well done. Your peers have recognized the work you have put in, and they know that you have the skills and the talent, but for a different set of judges, anybody could have won. So my congratulations to each and every one of you for the hard work that you have put in. The next category, talent, anchor, news. Rob Howard, anchor, WEWS. Dan Spieler, covering the news in 2021, WXIN. Dustin Grove, anchor, composite, WTHR. Kylie Conway, WISH. Alexis Rogers, WISH. And the winner is Rob Powers, WEWS. COVID-19 vaccine will be administered for the first three weeks of the clinic. In weeks four through six, those who receive their first shot will receive their second dose of the Pfizer vaccine. The Johnson & Johnson one-shot coronavirus vaccine will be administered during weeks seven and eight. Cuyahoga County Executive Armin Budish says the goal here is to get more people in underserved communities vaccinated. Hey, uh, thanks. Thank you very much. I was fortunate enough uh, to take home my first Emmy Award uh, one week before I was married. Uh, and last week, we celebrated our 20th wedding anniversary. Uh, Debbie's watching at home. Deb, I love you. Always have, always will. Uh, our boys, Jackson and Brendan, we were impressed when you guys took your first steps. Look at how far you've come. We're so proud of you. We love you. To the people I share the desk with every day, Courtney, Mark, DeLon, John, Thank you very much. Um, I, I just want to go off a little bit here and, and dedicate the moment to some people. Uh, Olivia Fecto, Kristen Jantonio, Jeff Smith, and the family of Sarah Buddison, and anybody else that's just had a rough year. Thank you all. I hope you're having a great night. Thank you very much. The next category, evening newscast, media market, 51 plus. And the Emmy goes to... Fort Wayne's NBC News at 11, Fort Wayne's NBC. Fort Wayne's NBC News at 11, Fort Wayne's NBC. 13 ABC Action News at 11 p.m. WTVG. All right, media market newscast. The winner is Fort Wayne's NBC News at 11. When someone needs help, TRA will be there. The job of TRA is to make sure that the public's protected. This is how ambulance service is structured. The mayor, county commissioners, and the medical community appoint TRA board members. The board's job is to oversee the contractor, paramedics logistics. TRA management chose to not disclose any of that to the public. Uh, shows that they were failing at their responsibilities to the public. I called and emailed yeah, now for... Oh. Wow. I want to thank my team right here for believing in me, letting me... You know, let me, my, my ideas come together as one and let me produce our newscast the way I envision it and executing it the way I have it in my mind. Um, so many thanks to Tom and Linda, my mentors here. I wouldn't be here without them. Um, it's my first Emmy. Um, de de definitely want to dedicate my, my mom and dad, um, you know, Three boys they raised, uh, working double jobs, 
um, getting us, putting their dreams behind, to put our dreams first, just so we can go to the best schools everywhere. Three Latino boys get to this stage. It's great. Um, and all of us, all of us never ended up anywhere bad. We're all three successful. And this award's a testament to their, everything they did for us. Um, I love them so much. Yeah. It's for them. Thank you, guys. The next category, Evening Newscast, Larger Markets, 1 through 50. And the Emmy goes to... Newspoint at 11, WXIN. Fox 59 News at 10, WXIN. News 8 at 6, WISH. 3 News, What's Next, WKYC. 13 News at 11, FedEx Shooting, WTHR. Coronavirus in Ohio, one year later, WEWS. And the Emmy goes to 13 News at 11, FedEx Shooting, WTHR. As you can Congratulations. Imagine, in a very difficult 24 hours. This is the worst part of the whole entire thing. So as you know, our community is growing here big times. But when we look at the other side, nobody's prepared for this. There are no protocols for this. Less than 24 hours after a gunman opened fire, eight victims were named, including four belonging to the Sikh community. One victim's grandson tweeting, you deserve so much better than this. Man, I was counting on my producer to be here so I didn't have to talk. Um, she just couldn't be here tonight. I'm so thankful, so excited to be here. Um, long time newsman, first time winner or whatnot. Uh, God, thank you to my wife, thank you to my kids, thank you to my mentors, um, Todd Rice and Jay Lowe and all the other directors who've, who've uh, shown me the way, and um, God, this is exciting, and I'm so excited to be uh, here and in front of you, and I know I've watched the competition, you guys are amazing, so um, thank you, thank you. Thank you. As we are wrapping up our final few categories of the evening, there's a round of applause for the final few categories. So you guys are ready to be done with this. A reminder that if you have a valet ticket, you can, instead of waiting for your car to be brought around, if you have your valet ticket, you can go directly to your car, which is just to the left of the estate. So you can follow and they'll direct you out that way. So we are down to our last four awards, and it is my honor to welcome to the stage our true host, of the evening, Mrs. Charlotte Lucas, accompanied by CBS 4's Bob Donaldson. Good evening once again, everyone. We are so happy that you came here to the Lucas Estate, but we also want to recognize the Lucas family Charlotte Lucas is our true hostess tonight. We have had a wonderful time. Please make her feel welcome, and please give your gratitude to everything the Lucas family has done tonight to make this whole event possible. Charlotte, thank you. Please, please, come on, absolutely. Charlotte, we thank you and Forrest so much for everything you do for the Indianapolis community and for making this great event possible. Thank you very much. It's our pleasure. Okay, without further ado, we are going to continue now with our awards. Our next category is community service. And the nominees are... WJW Community Service, WJW. 
WRTV, working for good, WRTV. And the Emmy goes to WJW Community Service, Margaret Dakin. From all of us at Fox 8 to Slider. Stop in the bus, stop in the bus. Arby's and Dunkin' Donuts providing food, and Topps Truck giving away free baseball cards. Oh, anything we can do to help the kids, aside from help the kids that came today, we'll help the ones that couldn't make it. And they just kept coming to Dick Goddard Way, from 7 in the morning until 7 at night. We raised uh, 45... Okay, I'm sorry with the lights, I can't see if Margaret... Is Margaret here? Is Margaret coming up? All right, we will accept this on Margaret's behalf. Congratulations to Margaret. Our next category is Sports Excellence, and the nominees are... Fox 59 and CBS 4 Sports, WXIN, WTTV. WEWS TV, Sports Excellence, WEWS. WISH TV, Sports Team, WISH. And the Emmy goes to Sports Excellence, Jody Heisner. Our football in w Cleveland. W no surprise, the game's roots, they run deep here. You cannot write the history of the NFL without the state of Ohio. The NFL and stuff started in Ohio, you know, so we got it all here. Ohio, in my opinion, is the mecca of, of football, period. And you can't have conversations about Ohio football without mentioning Northeast Ohio. Just this pocket alone with this. As news director, my name is on this in name only because only name one name could be on it. And we have an incredible, incredible sports team. What I will say is I made a promise when I started at News 5 almost two years ago that I understood how important sports were in Cleveland. And I hope this means I've upheld that promise. Uh, I'll let these guys talk. No. no we've, we've talked enough. Derek Forrest, who's no longer at our station. Cameron Justice, who does incredible work for us, too. Uh, total team effort on this. And listen, I'll say one thing real quick. It is gratifying to work at a station that still cares about journalism. It is very important to us, and sports is very important to this market. It's all about the team, folks. Thank you. Our next category is News Excellence, and the nominees are... WEWS, TV News Excellence, WEWS. WPTA, ABC 21, WPTA. Fox 59 News, WXIN. CBS 4 News, WTTV. WJW, Fox 8 News, WJW. WTHR, 13 News, WTHR. Emmy goes to ABC 21, Jonathan Shelley. We can't talk about climate change without understanding its effect on Indiana's $31 billion ag industry. Science tells us that farmers will have to adapt by changing their methods. Since corn and soybeans are the two biggest cash crops, we'll focus on those right now. And we'll talk to Adams County farmer Mike Whirling. He's already noticing clouds overhead as he sees the effects of climate change in his own fields. Growing up, um, we would get half inch or inch rains. Now, we're getting harder rains that last longer. Wow, that's uh, well beyond um, anything that I think uh, I imagined when I came here tonight and knowing the caliber of the nominees in this category. Um, it's an honor to compete with some of the best television stations, I think, in the country at a time when it couldn't be more important to be doing what everyone in this, in this gathering is doing. Um, we face the somewhat different challenge than our station peers in this region and some of the larger markets in that um, we're working right now to try and I think find the next generation um, to bring them in 
to an environment that aspires to the great level of journalism, of photography, of overall broadcasting as our, as our peers here tonight um, have been establishing over a period of decades. And um, I'm somewhat at a loss for words, but I did want to take this opportunity to thank everybody at, at WPTA who makes it that type of an environment. Um, it's awesome to, to see people starting their careers along with people who have committed to the market for a period of, in some cases, uh, their entire career and to get those two groups together and to see the interaction between them. And that's a lot of fun. It's also super important. Um, so thank you to the, um, uh, to the judges and, and to the academy, but thank you to everybody on my team um, and thank you to everybody who's helping ensure that uh, for years to come, we continue to do what we do. Thank you. And now I believe our final category of the day is overall excellence. And the nominees are. This is CBS4 WTTV. WPTA, ABC 21, WPTA. We are Fox 59, WXIN. WRTV, overall excellence, WRTV. WTHR, WTHR. WISHTV, WISH. And the Emmy goes to CBS 4, Dominic Mancuso. For months, CBS 4 has been coping through each year's public safety Dominic budget Mancuso. and all of the anti-violence funding the city has distributed since 2017. We found Indianapolis has spent more than $2.2 billion. I think that all of the investments that we've made in public safety have uh, paid enormous benefits. Tonight, we're zeroing in mainly on the anti-violence programming you often hear about. Now, it's important for you to know there are essentially three buckets from where that assistance is approved. Accepting tonight is C.J. Hoyt, news director for CBS4 and my boss. <laughs> uh, Bob might get a raise for announcing that one. So, um, really want to thank uh, everyone at our station for the hard work that they've done over the past year. It's been incredibly trying in our industry. We've gone through a pandemic. We've had social unrest. Our city had a mass shooting last year. It's been really hard to do what we do every day. And I think that I get to work in the hardest working newsroom uh, in the world. Uh, we put on 100 hours of news a week. There's 160 people behind this. And I'm really proud of being able to stand up here and accept this award on their behalf. So, thank you. As a representative of the Indianapolis Colts, it is such an honor to share the stage tonight alongside Mrs. Charlotte Lucas. A round of applause for her and for Forrest for hosting this spectacular evening. That concludes all of our festivities this evening. Thank you all so much for being here, for being a part of this celebration of journalism, this celebration of storing, storytelling, and this investment in what is such a satisfying and rewarding business to be a part of. I think it was so well illustrated throughout all the speeches you saw tonight, how much goes into making this all possible. So thank you all for being a part of tonight. Congratulations to our winners this evening. An honor to be your host. A round of applause for Miss Laura Steele, <laughs> DJ No, Arnatus Committee. I thought I would be the person on stage with the most sequins, but then I saw Rafael Sanchez, and then I saw Bob Hammer. Where is Bob Hammer? Can Bob Hammer stand up for a, a moment to be recognized as our leader of this whole event? Thank you all so much. Congratulations to all of those who were recognized this evening. 
Drive home safely. There we go. I did. I did call you. I knew you wouldn't have, would not miss a moment in the spotlight. Well, now she's everybody. got other sequins joining her. Look at it's yes. a sequins team. Everybody, on behalf of the National Academy of Television and Arts job. and Science Central Thank Great you. Lakes Chapter, congratulations oh. to all of the nominees and recipients. I have been your announcer, Laura Steele. We'll see you next year in Cleveland, Ohio. Good night, Indianapolis. 